I saw some pictures from my party. I'm like, whose vape is in my mouth? And then I overheard, like I was talking to my friend and I was like, we like kind of like debriefed the night. And she's like, you picked it off off the floor and just started smoking it. Wait, can you do that? <laughs> no, it's disgusting. I Gestures podcast. I am here. I mean, this girl needs no introduction. She is the it girl. She's everywhere. She's on every podcast that you can imagine, every TikTok you can imagine. She gets millions, 15 million, 20 million views just for being hot and pretty and cool and kind. Stop. The ultimate girls, girls, and boys, girls. We love her. Tara, <laughs> yummy. Thank you. Hi. Woo. I, first of all, I need to ask first of all the name. Where did it come We looked it up, Googled, like, where did it come from? And there's no explanation. There's no the explanation? Internet. I talk about it all the time. Oh my gosh. We did not do our research. No, I did no, no, my okay. research. I have a deep look at all these note cards. I have like 20 note cards. On I'm you, so scared. I couldn't find this. We literally looked. I know everything else about you. I wish it was something more special, but I was like 10, 11, making like a email for my Instagram. And I was like, oh, Tara Taco, because I love tacos. And I wanted like a scene girl name. So I did like Tara Taco. And then I was like, eh, well, tacos are yummy. And then I did Tara Yummy and then it stuck. And the reason it stuck is because there was a girl named Tara in my school who had the same last initial as me. And so people just started calling me Tara Yummy. Like even oh, like my friends. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. So it really just came from like an email. Yeah, an email. I love Tar Taco is a great stage name. I wish that was your name, Tar Taco. That's kind of everything. I feel like it wouldn't age well. Right? No. <laughs> Wait, why? Because taco means like cooter. Oh, why? But then I right. mean, yummy's no better. <laughs> Like either way. Tar, right. I guess Tara Yummy's more cute. It's like more anime style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tara Taco. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I guess if you're going into the spicy content later on. <laughs> I don't think I ever will, but I'll keep it not in mind for, you. for Tara no, Taco. No, I always say don't. Especially not until you're like, I don't know, like 30. If you're like, oh, maybe I should do it. I don't know. Okay. But <laughs> you said you're- Seven years. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe get over how young you are. 23. Yeah, 23. Crazy, but you actually look so young. Like I always think you're Thank like you. 18. Oh my God. Well. I look at you and I'm just like, oh my God. Just I was like thinking, I was like, do I need Botox? Never. I, like, I feel like I need to go No, to don't do it. Well, you know what? Like later on again, like yeah. I got some on my forehead, but yours is perfect. Your skin's so perfect. Thank you so much. You have good genes. You Stop. literally look like, we talked about it the first time you came here. Because you came with Jake and Johnny and I wish yeah. we had a camera, like a phone, microphone for no, you. No, it's okay. I just wanted to watch. No, because you like are such a talker. I am. I never shut the f*** up. I gagged over that. I never would have thought that because I've seen you and I was like, oh, to me, you seem very like quiet, <laughs> mysterious. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. So when you came, you were... Literally the bubbliest person I've ever met in my entire life. I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. Like well, you should I be a blonde. From the best. <laughs> I do feel like, oh my God, like little sister vibes when yeah, I watch I, you. I watched you. That's okay. I'm but gonna, who didn't? That's true. I was kind of everywhere were, at one point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm just lucky that you guys get to come on my podcast because I'm just like, oh, everyone is so, you're really the it girl. Like I feel Thank like high school, it's high school. Every few years we get like our homecoming queen and like this year it's you for I'm sure. I'm the homecoming queen? You're the homecoming queen. <laughs> Thank Were you, so you much. in high school? No, I never like went for it because usually like couples would win and I didn't have like a boyfriend in high school. Oh, really? But I was on like student council and like the swim team for a little okay. bit and like I was friends with everyone in so high you school. Were, like, I was in drama girl. and I was, everything. I did everything. So you're literally the same person. You're literally friends with all the groups now. Yeah. And you were friends with all the groups back then. Yeah. That's such a I talent. Think, I think it's just because I'm friendly. Yeah. And you're really nice. We we're talking about that right before the podcast started. Is like you're just so nice to like everybody. Thank you. And that's why everybody wants to like be I your try friend. To be. I know like in high school people were like, oh, Tara is so fake. She's fake nice. I'm like, name a time. Really? Name a time I'm fake nice. <laughs> I think I'm just nice because I want to be. I don't think I'm just like, and I'm honest. Yeah. And I think people aren't used to people just being, being nice. nice. You know, yeah. people usually, because I think you are from LA, because people complain about LA people being fake, yeah. but you're from LA. And I think it's the like transplants that are fake. I agree. You know, the ones I've that always want said something. That. And they're always like, I hate LA. I'm like, why? It's yeah. great. Right. If I you're, love it. The people from here, and I know so many like Mark Rojas, Oscar, he's from here. And I just feel like they're the ones that are like the real ones because mm -hmm. they just are here. They're well, not we're so used to it. Right. Yeah. So you're just like not jaded by anything or yeah. anything like that, which I think is so cool. Yes. And I love it. And your celebrity looks like look alike. So when we were here last time, we were talking about Vanessa. Vanessa Hutchins. Yeah. And have you ever seen the movie? You probably didn't because it came out when I was like 15. It's called She's Too Young. No. It's on Lifetime. And it was about a girl who got syphilis in high school. Oh my God. Do you remember? And no. she was on like Entourage. She was so pretty. God, I can't think of her name. Oh, thank she looked you. like Milikun and in the movie they're like you look like Angelina Jolie but hotter but she was like 15 or something at the time wow yeah anyway it's a good movie God. it's called She's Too Young it's on Lifetime I'll have to watch it yeah it's pretty good you look like her too you look like so many people and I'm yeah. like so jealous I think, so cool. I, I think I think Mila Kunis is the most like Jackie from that 70s show like that era of her I get that the most because I feel like I like have the same like attitude as her too so yeah. I think people are like oh like she's sassy like that right and, yeah and I also think Jake was like compared to Kelso a lot so yeah, you guys are very was. much yeah. that couple yeah did you guys do that on purpose did you seek each other out for that reason <laughs> no not at all. Because you like the 70s show. I do. I do. Or I did. But I, I think, no, because he had like pink hair when I met him. 
Really? Yeah. Oh my God. He looked so different. Oh my gosh. That's yeah. kind of a vibe. Yeah. And how did you guys meet? We met at a party. They used to like Sam, Colby, Jake, and Corey used to live in this house called the Trap House. And he used to throw these like crazy influencer parties. And one day I just went to one. I wasn't, I wasn't a YouTuber or anything, but I just went to go because I saw all of my friends like partying in like university and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I felt really left out. So I was like, I'm going to find my own LA parties. And I went and then we met. Oh my God. We met at a party. And who came up to who? I went up to him. Because you said he's shy. You're like, he was really shy. shy. He was really shy back then. And yeah. what was like your pickup line? Or were you not trying to pick him up? Just, I like, wasn't trying to pick him up. I was like, I don't remember. I think I went up to him and he was like, are you even 21? Because I was grabbing a drink. And oh, I, I love that he asked for the ID. And he said, <laughs> and I was like, no, are you? And he's like, no. And I was like, okay. And we just drank our drinks. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. That's, I guess the same age? No, he's 25 and I'm 23. Okay. So he's so. like two and a half, three years older than me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I love that he asked. <laughs> It's like, I, think he was just, I think he was just trying to mess with me, but I don't remember. That's so, that's kind of yeah. cute. I kind of like it. I feel like more people need to learn from that and be like, are you even old enough to be here? I think it's cute. <laughs> I wasn't, but I did but, it. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. how it is in the influence world. Yeah. So you didn't go to like college or anything? I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. And I still like took classes up until like a year ago online. Oh my, what, did you go locally? Uh, I went to like a community college and then I did like Purdue University online. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What I never were, ended up with my communications degree, but that's what I was doing. <gasps> yeah. Oh my, what were you thinking to do with it? Or you weren't. You're just like, let me I just see. I did it for my parents. I have like immigrant mm. parents. I'm Persian. So like. I saw that. Yeah. Which is so exciting. And yeah. I feel like you do talk about it a little bit, but not like that much. I don't talk about it a lot now. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I love this because I you said me lacuna. So I immediately was like, maybe you're Russian. You're so like ambiguous. So you could be cool. literally anything. Like Vanessa Hudgens is like Hispanic. You could be Russian like me lacuna. Yeah. You could be whatever. And so Persian. I'm Persian. Yeah. I'm full Persian. And you speak Farsi. I heard you I speaking speak Farsi. Farsi. Yes. Did you grow up speaking it? Yeah. It was technically my first language. I learned English at like four. Oh yeah. my gosh, that is so cool. Do you Thank go to all the, any of the restaurants around? Oh, of course. Yeah, all the I time. I love Persian food. I yeah. grew up, um, I didn't grow up. I, I worked at a lot of strip clubs in Van Nuys and they were all Persian. Really? Yeah, like wow. customers. So, oh, really? Yeah. So Interesting. I would, yeah, so they'd come and I'd be like, oh, do said that on, you know? <gasps> Oh my god! Like I would, and I would like learn it so much. I was definitely like I had my like. Education. Have you ever been to Iran? Is that where you guys are from? Yeah, they're from Iran. No, I've never been. Do you know what part they're from? Yeah, Tehran, the capital. Okay. Yeah. Because there's like I knew a lot of people from like Shiraz, which is more like sheep and stuff over there. Wow, but you know so much. I I was a big Iranian fan. Oh I my was, god! Yeah. Wait, yeah. Trish, that means so much to me because I feel like I think the reason I'm talking about it is because no one even cares to bring it up. They're like, oh, you're bilingual, cool. You know so oh, much. I'm I gonna love start the crying. Persian culture. <laughs> you know what it is? Is I didn't have culture growing up. So when I came to LA and I just like obviously LA has so many cultures and specifically the valley had a lot of like yeah. Persians and the strip club had a lot of Persian people so I was just always fascinated I love it I like adapt into people's cultures and I thought oh the God. Persian culture is beautiful and I think Iran is like gets like such a bad rap people think yeah. of it as like Middle East and like scary but it's actually like really yeah. beautiful from what I've seen and yeah. heard oh my God I'm gonna start crying it's very, I like, didn't know you knew that much that makes me so happy because no one knows about it it's cool and I heard like Tehran's like a lot like New York City it's it is very, a lot like, like New York City yeah very up but you've never you've never I've never been, been. No. do you think you'll ever go over I don't think so my whole yeah. dad's side of the family lives there, though. Yeah. Yeah. Not it never, like, called to you or anything. Maybe not yet. No, I don't think so. Yeah. It's cool you speak it, though. I just, like, Thank you. I could read and write, too. No. Yeah. That's so hard. Yeah. It's, like, it's also from, like, uh, right to left. Yeah. Not left to right. Do you yeah. have it on your phone? Like, no. the text? My oh, mom okay. does. Like, my mom will send it to me, but, like, I'll send it into, like, in English. Yeah. And, like, yeah. our WhatsApp group chats with, like, his family, it's always in a different language. I'm like, oh, I'm going to yeah. learn. I try to learn, like, different languages. I've tried to learn, like, Mandarin. I've tried to learn Hebrew. I try yeah. to learn Farsi for a minute. It's very hard, though. You got Dusadar. I'm perfect, though. Thanks. That's the only one I knew. I was like, I can't, I When you said that, my heart dropped to my soul. Aww. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I just think it's so cool. And it's when you speak it, it's so cool. When you, you said it on the podcast, I was like, oh, that's so cool. Stop. It makes you even more, like, well-rounded and cool. Thank and I love you. That. that means so much to me. That's oh, my God. I, <laughs> and it's cool. It's cool that you're, like, first generation. Do you feel, like, with your parents coming over, have you, like, learned, like, work ethic from them or? I think from my dad, yeah. I mean, like, he came here with, like, an engine. He's an engineer, but he had to start from nothing because it's America. My mm-hmm. mom has a psychology degree. She can't do anything with it here. Wow. So, like, they had to, like, work their asses off just so I could have mm-hmm. a good life in America. And did you, like, feel it, like, growing up? Were you, like... You know, they never made me feel like I was poor growing up. So yeah. I never like, I look back and I'm like, ooh, we did not afford like rent for months. Really? They tell me now. Yeah. But like growing up, they never made me feel that way. Yeah. So no. But looking back, I'm like, geez, my dad worked hard. Like, yeah. Like so hard. To get over here is like so hard. You have yeah. to have like so much money saved up, the jobs, all that stuff. Are you yeah. close with, I know you live with your mom now. Yeah. Is your dad? My dad also lives there. I think just like he's he's at work every day. So I say okay. like, oh, I'm with my mom all day. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. I think that's I so with cute. My yeah. I love it. I saw on BFS you said you were going to move out. And I was like, please don't move out. I think that's so smart to like stay with your mom. Yeah, but I think it's time. Why? I want my mom to move back in with us. I'm like, really? I'm ready. Yeah. I was like, she lives
Um, I don't. Like, was Jake ever over? Yeah, yeah. Jake was, like, part of my family. Like, uh. he still to this day. I think he, like, is still on the phone with my dad today because, like, his gutter fell or something and he needs my dad's help. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, so that's cute. Yeah, yeah. No, I think I see Jake as, like, part of my family at this yeah. point. But, uh, yeah, no, he was allowed over because he was, like, my boyfriend of, you know, almost five years. Yeah. And I'm allowed to have boys over. Am I gonna? No. Okay. Like, I'm yeah. not going to be like, hey, can I, I'm going to bring this boy over. Unless yeah. they're like my friends. I'm not going to just like bring a guy over. No, I always think that'd be weird too. They're I don't a little know. weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like they're sense. not home, but like, I'm not going to be like, can I have this man over? Yeah. <laughs> no. But it looks like you have like a nice, like it looks like a nice house now. You like have like a oh, nice house, nice room. It looks like a big bedroom. Cause I was looking at the back, you have like a John and Yoko poster behind yeah. you, which is like, so funny to me. Like just everything about you is just such a conundrum. Cause it's like your Paris Hilton, you described it as Paris Hilton meets Marilyn Manson. Yeah. And I was like, yes, it's that. But then you also have like John and Yoko behind you. I'm like, who is this I went girl? through like a hippie phase when I was 14. I'm like still pescatarian because of it. I, oh my gosh. That's yeah. what I was going to ask you. So you're pescatarian. That means you yeah. eat fish. Yes. But not meat. Yeah. But you eat cheese. Yes. Okay, so my ten year of that was like two days ago. Whoa, March tenth. Yeah. Okay, so where did that start? Because I'm so into that. I want to be vegan so bad because I love really? like, Hinduism and stuff like that. And it's a big part of like Hare Krishna. It's like to not eat animals, but it's so hard for me. Yeah, I watched like this really fucked up documentary when I was like 14, 13. Conspiracy. I don't even know what it was. Oh. I, just, I fell into a hole, like a hole of them, and it like messed me up so badly. And then my mom made hot dogs that night. <laughs> And I was like, I can't do it. And she's like, okay, it's going to last a month. And it's 10 years later and I'm still doing it. Wow. And I'm like not someone that judges other people for eating meat either. I'm like, to each their own. I wish I could eat meat because it's like, I love a burger. Yeah. But I I, I feel like my heart, I I feel weird. Like I feel like my heart can't handle it. Yeah. Yeah. With fish, I'm like, "Eh, I don't care. Okay. Yeah. I feel like that's like a common thing. Is it? Yeah. Like that fish. Because I feel like that's like the Jesus animal that he ate. You know what I mean? Like he'd go fishing. Is that what happened? Yeah. He'd like grab the fish and eat it. Oh, okay. I don't think I ever like killed an animal or anything like that. But I heard it gets I heard cow conspiracy. One of my best friends is a, like a hardcore vegan where she will judge you and she was talking <laughs> she about will judge you. <laughs> she will she'll be like, "Oh, don't eat that like milk mm. anything." Um and she's like if you watch cow conspiracy, you'll never eat meat again and I was like, "I don't know if I want to do that, but not worth I it." I don't know, but I probably would I probably would be a really even fatter because I'd eat see like fries and like grilled cheese and stuff, you know. Like I want to be a healthy one. Do you eat like salad? No, you eat like Taco Bell and stuff. I do eat Taco Bell. I I try to like eat healthy for the most part yeah. but because also I don't eat out that much because my mom cooks that's uh, another perk of living with your parents yeah, like Persian homemade. food and she'll like make, make, like make like Persian food and then she'll make me a vegetarian version ah so nice I love so that nice. oh my god yeah. so like why would you move it's out it's like a personal chef yeah she's and everything dog sitter and she's a everything friend. yeah she's oh, everything no. but um so stay so are you looking are you actively looking I'm actively looking oh okay so hopefully by the summertime wow and then you're gonna live by yourself I think I'm going to have some friends live with me just so I'm not alone. Yeah. Because I cannot be alone with my own thoughts for more than two seconds. I will literally step out of my body, crawl out of it. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm an only child. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so that makes like such a difference. I'm always on the phone with my friends. I'm always listening to a podcast. I'm always like listening to music, like in the shower even. I have to like be on the phone. Wow. Okay, so yeah, that would be hard then to go to like nothing. Yeah. How is the only being an only child... I don't know. It was kind of weird because I had immigrant parents who were like kind of strict but not strict. Like they'd let me like drink in the house if I was like careful with it. Oh. But then like if I'm like a little bit of like my belly was showing, my dad would be like, "What are you doing?" Really? It was like very random. Like it was like they oh. pick and they pick and chose what they would be strict about. They okay. were never strict about boys. Like I had a guy friends growing up. They'd come over. I'd, I was allowed to close the door because honestly, I had so many like different friends growing up that mm. they they never thought anything of it if I brought a guy over. Oh, okay, yeah. so they were like trusting of you yeah. too. Yeah, which. Don't know why, but yeah. I was like a terrible teenager. <laughs> but you're like, but you're not, you told me you're like, you're just like a relation, you're not a relationship girl. You no. like to be single, but you yeah. didn't really have, you're not like a person that goes around either. Like, I don't think I go around. I think, go, not, not that <laughs> way. I just meant like, you don't love to just like do the whole dating thing, like date everybody. No, I'll talk to people though. You, you know what I mean? Okay. Like, I feel like, I feel like I come off a little slutty, but I don't think I am. No, no, I don't think you do at all. That's not what I meant to say. No, 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 but no. I, was just like, I mean, yeah. I, I get it. Because you like, because we were talking about this too. You're like, I don't know. Because you're saying, I like being single. I do. Me and your friend were saying, like, I think you're a relationship girl, or I think you like, I don't even know you that well, but I was like, I just feel you. Because you're friends with Corinna, and I know Corinna's like a relationship girl too. And you would think someone like her, you know, she can get any guy she wants, but she's like a relationship person who's only been with like a few people. And I think that's cool. I mean, I was promiscuous AF, so I have no judgment, but I, I think see I'm, you. I think I'm like, I, this is so hard. I feel like my friends are just going to help me. I like, do like to like flirt around and like talk to guys, but I'll, I feel like I just never find someone that I want to be with, be with. Like, it's just like, even before Jake, I was like, not really a relationship person. I like can never, I'm so flirty. Like I know I am. So it's like, and not many people can like handle that either. They like give up or like, I'm like, whatever. Cause even in a relationship, you can be like just flirty because your yeah, personality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think 
I'm, I was always the same way too. It's just like fun. Yeah. I flirt with like even like girls or me people too. cash register people. I'm oh, just me like, too. Oh, yeah. I flirt with like- a wall if it looked at me. <laughs> I swear to God. What is your sign? I'm a Leo. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. So it's your, it's your personality. Yeah. I also think because you are so nice and bubbly, it comes across. It does come off flirty sometimes when I'm not even being flirty. Yeah. yeah no, and I people are like, oh, she's into me. Yeah. I felt that when you were here. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> you thought I was into you? I'm like, <laughs> Hi Trish. Like I know you're married, but <laughs> you're, just, full you're and so nice, right? Just so, pregnant. but you're just so nice and so like, oh my gosh, like just over the top. So I think it's like in, in the best way. Thank you. So you think you'll be single for a while? Yeah, I predict you'll be in a relationship in a Ooh. couple months. Oh, really? Yeah, it'll probably like hit you. Is it because you don't find people interesting, or what is it that you don't want to date? Them? Oh, that's a good question, honestly. Yeah, I don't know. I think I you're like being tied down. I'll tell you that much. What does that mean to you? Like. I feel like I just don't like being like restricted. I, I I've talked about this on canceled. Like I feel like I have an authority problem, mm. and it's like if someone tells me what to do, I freak out. Yeah, and, and like I, I respect people's boundaries and stuff like that. But with Jake, he really understood who I was and knew not to like be like you can't do this. He would never do that. But like it, it just I felt like I could just be my completely myself. And yeah. I feel like with most people, they don't respect that, which is fine. Like to each their own. But I know myself and I know I couldn't do it. I think being who you are, it's just like, it's, it's like Tana. It's like just finding someone who can like be accepting of it and let handle. you be. Handle, handle me. It. Yeah. yeah. Let you be your personality. Let you be your flirty self. But I think there are guys like that out there. It's just like hard to find, especially yeah. in LA. Yeah. And I agree. And I think I had yeah. something so special with Jake and like, um, I'm glad we're still friends because I feel like I can't imagine my life without him. But it's just like not many people are like that. Yeah. Yeah. But if you found someone new, because, okay, so we just had this discussion. You said you watched Hot Topics yesterday. We just had this discussion with my co-host where I'm like, there's just no way friends with ex, absolutely. Because like love is blind. They're friends with their exes. And I'm like, absolutely not. So if yeah. you think you got in another relationship, now you guys are, you know, single or single ish or whatever. But it's like, if you both got in like serious relationships, do you think you would still be close? I think I would never get in a, a serious relationship with anyone unless they were cool with me being close with them. Wow. That's my truth. Because That's- to me, like, I think he said this on the Zach Sang show. He was like, towards the end, we just felt like we were just best friends. Mm. So it's like, if nothing's there, it's not like we're hooking up on the side. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, if nothing's there, then like, you got to find the confident person. Because yeah. the insecure person, me, I'd be like, oh, hell no. Really? <laughs> oh, for sure. Especially if you were the ex, I'd be like, uh-uh. oh, you're sweet. <laughs> Honestly, to each their own, though, like, I know it's not for any, everyone. Yeah. I know I'm the odd one out. And like, people are like, I don't like this Tara Yummy girl because she's like, has these crazy controversial like opinions about relationships. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's, it's scary to even say them. But then there are right. those few people where they're like, I understand her. Yeah, no, I yeah. think it's actually like... And I still think to each their own. Like, right. I really think everyone's opinion is like I think a lot own. of people would agree with you. I see it on like Love is Blind too where they're like, what's the wrong with... Like a lot of people think what's wrong with being friends with exes. And I think it really does come around like insecurity or yeah, because you guys broke up for a reason. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm just like, absolutely not. But it makes sense. Yeah. But with... I don't know. It's like, it'll be interesting to see if you're like... Or his relationship if he gets into one. Yeah. Because also, again, I think it's more the girls get insecure of the yeah. other girls. Just in general. I mean, you could be the most beautiful girl in the world and still be insecure. Well, I it. think we care about each other enough where I think also he would be like, yeah, like, we're really good friends. Like, I think he wouldn't. I, I hope. I don't, I think he wouldn't put up with it. What if he was, like, got in a relationship he's like, we can't be friends anymore? Would you be sad? Oh, I'd break my heart. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he would do that, though. Uh, okay. I but love I, that. Yeah. I think I, I, I think I know him well enough to think that oh I, I don't think he would do that. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you just find the persons that are all cool with it and mm-hmm. you guys are all cool together. Yeah. I kind of love that about you. Thank so, you. okay. So influencer life, yeah. the first video I've seen of yours was four years ago. It said you're 18, almost 19 and you show a video and you said where you're like, oh, I uploaded when I was eight, but the channel like doesn't exist or something like that. Yeah. So you were like, so, but then your first official video was 19. Yes. How did you, why did you start your YouTube? I started my YouTube because I was watching people like you Shane just like every YouTuber Olga K oh my god every gosh. YouTuber uh Brittany Louise Taylor oh my god every YouTuber who was like I Justine then it got into like the O2Ls and stuff okay. but every YouTuber who was a YouTuber I have watched I have seen I have subscribed to wow so I was just like obsessed with YouTube the way people were obsessed with TV shows mm-hmm. and I was like oh my god that sounds so fun just like live your life and film your every day like I think my personality is fun enough where people would watch me right kind of conceited but like eh, I get it but everyone thinks that that's why I feel like everyone thinks that yeah. right everyone thinks they're interesting and so I just started and then I stopped and then I started again how long did you stop for I went back and forth. I started a little bit in high school again, and then I took him down. And then when I met Jake, he told me to put him back up or restart, and I restarted. So when you met Jake, you weren't actively making YouTube videos. You I had, had I had just taken them down a week before. Interesting. It was really crazy, yeah. Why did you take him down? You just thought, like, this is... I started to get embarrassed. People from high school were, like, posting on their private accounts about me. People who I thought were my friends. I had a lot of friends growing up, but, like, people who I thought were my friends, like, posting on their private accounts, like, this is really cringe. Like, who does she... Like, does she think <laughs> she's going to blow up? 
<laughs> and look at you, just so blown out now. Do you ever talk to them and be like, look at me now? No, because I, I would never like rub it in someone's face, but like. They just see it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully they see it and they're like, I was wrong. You were so the same. You at 18. That's why it's like you haven't aged at all because you're the same. The first video I saw, the first video you posted or that's still on your channel is the Q&A. And I was like, oh my yeah. God, you're literally like the same person. Thank you. It's I, so I'm cute. trying to be. I feel like even my friends that like grew up with me because I, I have friends from when I was like five years old in LA that I'm still friends with from like kindergarten. Mm-hmm. And they'll be like, Tara, you were the same exact person you were. Oh, okay. And I was like, that means a lot to me because it makes me feel like I've never changed, changed. whether that's good or bad. I think that's right? good. I think it's good. I think influence your life changes people for sure. You see it happen. Yeah. Do you have you? Do you think you changed at all since, like, just, like, personally, now that you're friends mm. with the people you loved? Like, you said you're an O2L fan yeah. girly, and then you become friends with them. Yeah. Do you, is it, like, what does it feel like to you? Because it's, like, <sighs> no, I don't think I've changed. I think I've – the only thing I could think of that I've changed is after I got out of a public relationship, I'm more private about my love life. But other than that, I don't think I've changed online or in person. Um, I think I have a little bit of imposter syndrome right now where I'm, like, is this – like, you call me the it girl, and I'm, like – I literally just feel like the same person. I just see yeah. more of myself on my free page and I think it's weird. Right. You're but, like, see all the edits. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm like, it's so, I think, don't think it's a normal person thing to like step out of their own body and watch themselves and like edits. Mm-hmm. It's cool. I think that everyone's talented. Yeah. But I'm just like, this is so crazy. <laughs> yeah. You're just not yeah. buying into it. You're just like, I don't really get it yet. Yeah. Because people ask you on every podcast, like, why, why are you blowing up now? And you're like, I don't know. I'm just grateful. <laughs> I'm just thankful that people like me and want to watch me. Because, yeah. like, that was my goal when I started YouTube is I just wanted more people to laugh and, like, have an outlet the way I did with, like, your videos or, like, you know, like, oh, 12 videos where it's, like, you come home from school and you had a sh- day and, like, all you want to do is, like, watch your favorite person. You feel like they're your friend. Mm. That's what I wanted. And that's your vibe that you give off to people. Hopefully. Like, you're the friend. Hopefully. Do you think – Um, it's almost weird because I was kind of, like, deep diving because I was like, okay, I'm going to figure out, like, why the, the chemistry of what it blew up. Do you think the breakup – like, it, people compare it to the David and Liza breakup That's, video. I saw that recently. Yeah, and it's like, do you think – and they almost, like, catapulted, catapulted them a little bit. Do you think, like, that, that kind of made you guys even more likable, more relatable? I don't know. I never thought of it that way until I saw that. Again, yeah. like, people are changing my opinions of myself online. I'm like, <laughs> wait, is that the reason? I don't know. I mean, it happened, like, six months after the breakup, so – no, it's so kind like of I'm late for that now. And you guys were making videos. I always thought you just were dating. Like the first time I met Jake, which was like literally the shit, or the first time, like yeah. I guess I met him a while ago. But um, when we did the video, I thought you guys were like still dating. No. And I was like, oh, because you guys were in videos together all the time. Oh, I was yeah. like, oh. So I don't think it was that. Right. Maybe a little bit. Maybe, Maybe a little just, bit. Yeah. But I don't think it was that. Okay. I was trying to find do you. I don't know. Me like trying to get your professional opinion. I'm like, do you? No, I know. I was like researching. I was like, okay, let me see. And I saw the TikTok it was just too and far analyzing after. it. Right. We've been broken up for like eight months now. Because I want to know the science of it just for like who blows up and why. I don't know. I, I still don't feel like it's me. I don't. <laughs> it's so, it's, yeah, I could imagine it's surreal because I even went to your TikTok and it's like in the best way possible. Like you could just like lip sync to a song just looking like beautiful and it's like 20 million views. And I was like, I don't, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I mean, maybe it's just Because I was doing the same thing four years ago. And don't get right. me wrong, like I was making a living off YouTube four years ago. I you was. You were. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I it's was. been four years total that you've been yeah. making a living. Wow. Yeah, okay. I was making a full living, had my full business, merch. I was doing really well, so I thought. Right. And now it's like yeah. a whole other level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember like people would be like, oh, what's your goal? I'm like, a million subscribers is my goal. That's my goal. And you hit it. Yeah. And now people are like, what's your goal now? I'm like, to create more ha-has. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Just to make more people laugh. <laughs> Just to keep I going with it. Yeah. yeah. A million. I mean, it's crazy because million is such an accomplishment, but your, your videos get way over a million views. It's like the people that are more people than subscribe to you watch your videos, which is wild. I have 5 million subscribers on my channel. I get like 30,000 views. So it's like, it's such a fu- it's such a crazy dynamic. I, and it's wild. I, I, like, I don't believe you. Like, I know it's there and I can, like, look it up. Like, it's, like, that's crazy to it's me. Wild. Because it was my dream. Like, you don't understand. Your whole group is, like, and I guess because you guys are a group and so you kind of, like, help each other, too. Yeah. So it makes sense, too. And I guess that kind of all helps it. Because Johnny was so big back in the day. Yeah. And then I didn't know Jake too much from Sam and Kobe. But it's just, like, all of you guys together. It's just, like, the perfect formula, I guess. Thank you. Which is cute. And you, would you guys ever do, like, a hype house? No, I don't think so. We actually were talking about it on like a live stream the other day, me and Jake. Jake's like, I almost wish we never dated so you could live with us because you'd be such a good roommate. Oh, that would be- I know. We would can't. you? I, no, no. Why? I feel like that's, 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 that's weird. too much. Really? That's weird. Yeah. Okay. So you, okay. So that's where you draw so. the line. You're like, I think I do. Thank God I draw the line somewhere. <laughs> okay. Some people are like, this Tara Yemi girl has no boundaries. I'm yeah. 
You have a boundary. I do. I have a boundary. And I think it's living with my ex. Is this house nice? The new house? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm so happy for him. like, oh my gosh. I'm so happy for him, yeah. That's cool. So you wouldn't want to like live there? The pool? By the pool? I'd love to live there, but like, <laughs> I don't know if living with my ex is the best. Hyde house would be cute. Like a, a 2.0. Yeah. Although I don't know where any of those people are. Now, not in a bad way, not in a shady way, but it's like crazy how like the times just change and flow. Yeah. I were think you, everyone's doing pretty well. Were you into them? Like TikTok hype house? No, because I was like also on YouTube. I was like friends with some of them, I think. Oh, okay. So yeah. you were like basically like you watched people before you got into them. Yeah. So like the yeah. Shanes and the O2Ls. Interesting. Is there anyone? Like Olga Hay is a very rare one. Isn't that so specific? I, that's how I want you to know how specific that's I, I am. Like, wow. That's, is there any other like obscure ones? Because who was Olga Hay friends Ooh, with? Um, Jess Lazama. Do you remember her? Exotic Jess? No. Oh, she no. was like friends. Uh, Juicy Star 07. <gasps> I've been trying to get her on the podcast. She was supposed to come How in like October. Doing? She's like busy. She kind of lives a very private life. So I was surprised she wanted to come on the podcast, but I think maybe she had like a little second thoughts about it because mm. she lives so private. But yeah. She was the first like beauty person I ever watched. Really? She yeah. was like everything. She was like Queen Bee for like the long Yeah. Time. She had like a sister, Glitters. Elle Fowler. Yeah. yeah she was, oh my God. Yeah, what was her name? She had she had like a different name too on it. it yeah. Was a juicy Star and like Glitter yeah. or something. Yeah. I was obsessed with them. Yeah. I, I'm I like a has, crazy YouTube watcher. I love that. Oh my yeah. gosh. Even in high school when Emma was blowing up, Emma Chamberlain. You were in high school when she was blowing up? I think wow. so. Like 2016. Are you guys the same age? Or is she a little older I think older, she's probably. a year older than me. And you loved her too. I, yeah, I don't know where it was. I read a comment where it's like Tara Yemi's channel is like if Tana and Emma had a baby. Ooh, I can and see I was that. Like, I can see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. And did you watch Tana growing up? Yeah. Oh yeah, I went to her tour growing up. She knows that. No yeah. way. Yeah, I went to her tour in like high school. I was like 16, 17. Did she remember? I mean, I don't know why she would remember. Yeah. She meets a thousand people. But there. you did a mean green and everything like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh my god, that's we so cute. Picture together. No way. Did you post did they post it on canceled when you were on? We'll have to find no. it in our B roll. I want to post it. I don't it. think I ever brought it up on canceled, but yeah. Oh she my knows. God. She knows. She's known for like I've known Tana for like three years. Wow. Yeah. As like friends. Yeah. I, oh, I, I didn't feel like, know. Yeah, because I've been friends with everyone for so long. Yeah. But I just never like, yeah, it just never blew up for me. The which, people you're friends with too, it's like, it's a, just so many different groups. And I'm just like, oh my God, it's like, it's amazing. Thank it's, you. It's a good way to be. Like, that's what I wish I would have done on YouTube is like, be friends with everyone. Instead, I made enemies with everybody. But now I'm trying to make peace again. I'm like, it's never too late. You can tell everybody and be like, Trish is cool now. She's a mom. She's Got into you. not into drama. Got you. <laughs> oh, I have a drama podcast, but. No, oh, I think you're really careful with your words now. And like, I, I try. I, I think, I think you're okay. I tried. And that's why when you said you watch Hot Talk, I'm like, oh my gosh, did we say anything? Because you wear a thumbnail. Thank you for being our thumbnail and title. Twice Anytime. now. <laughs> Anytime I'll be your thumbnail You're such a good sport about it too. Because I'm like, oh, sometimes. Well, you never say anything rude about me. So I don't no, care. I love you. You're one of those people. You're right up there with Tana and Bertha. I'm like, you could do literally anything. And I'd be like, I'm on her side no matter what. Thank you. That's so nice. <laughs> um, but it's interesting. So like, we can talk about this if you want. You don't have to. But it's like, okay, so because you are friends with so many different people, Jake and Johnny, like, I feel like there's just like the unproblematic like kings. Yeah. But then I'm really new to Zach. Um, are you a co-host now? Are you official co-host? I am a co-host now. Okay. Yeah. So you're like getting paid. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> I'm making sure. Because yeah. I was looking at that too. I'm like, okay, I'm trying to like track your, the charts, right? And like their show went boom as oh, soon as you went on. thank you so much. So I was like, I hope they made her like a co-host or. Yes, I'm a co-host. Okay. Love yeah. that for you. So, But you might still do one with Jake and Johnny, you said. I'd like to. I'd like to have my own. Ooh, what would it look like? I don't know. Oh, it's just in my head. This is all in my head. This is nothing like real yet. You really do elevate everyone you're around. So I feel like having a solo one that's would really be, kind. It's Thank true. You. I mean, all these. I didn't know dropouts before you. I didn't know any of these people. I didn't. I just looked up Vinny Hacker the other day. I'm like, who is this? You person? don't know Vinny Hacker? Never. Really? Never on my life heard. Of, again, I'm like super old. I don't know. He's probably like young. But I heard you on BFFs talking about him, and I'm like, okay, I gotta look him up now. And so, how do you like? How do you meet all these people? How do you – do you go to parties? I think just like ever since even four years ago, I think I just go to parties a lot. Okay. And so again, I'm not like trying to become anyone's friend. I yeah. think it's just like I it just, just happen. I just, I just befriend them. Do and you then go I up throw to people? Uh, yeah, I do. Or they mostly come up to you? I'm no, just, I, go up to, I go up to people. I would be so scared to go to a party. He always tells me I need to go to like parties and stuff. I was like, no. You should. I love like that now. for like networking reasons. Why not? Yeah. I was like invited If you to, came like, to mine, oh boy, you'd have a – you'd have a – I think the opposite. You'd have, you'd have 10 podcasts to do. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> I would have so much anxiety. You'd, lo- you'd look around and you'd be like, oh, this is tea. <laughs> Like, I was worried when I was, like, watching people's stories. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, people are in secret relationships. People are in, like, you know, like. Oh, right. I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. people don't put their lives online and, like, at a party, you loosen up. Yeah. People have cameras everywhere. I was so careful with uh, with talking to someone who was editing my party video. I'm, like, oh. so careful with, like, what I put in and stuff. You know what, what I mean? Like, hearing someone in the background say something. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. But yeah, I would get, I would definitely get in trouble because like the people I do love, like you, like Jake, like Tana, it's like the stuff I do know. I try so hard whenever it comes up in like hot topics. I'm like, okay, let me not say what I actually know. Because but you I know feel, the real. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like if it was someone I didn't know, like a Zach or a Vinny, I don't know. I'd again, just naming names. I'd probably be like, I know the tea on them because I don't yeah, know, you them, know you know, them. But yeah. that's why I'm going to get in trouble. And that's why I just need to okay. steer clear of that. All right. Now I just like the gossip of like being a complete outsider. Well, you were invited. I know. I, I kind of find the video. I saw the video pop up and yeah. I was so excited. I saw the FaceTime and I got anxiety. That's what it was. Okay. Anytime someone FaceTimes okay. me, Tana, anybody, I'm like, ugh. I just immediately like I stare at my phone. I never FaceTime anyone. I rarely like text people. I'm just like a real like recluse. You're so fun to text. You're fun to text. And really? I love your voice memos. And you were so sweet because like my voice was gone last time. And then you sent me a voice memo. My back. voice is so gone sweet. this time almost. It's it sounds, a little bit. It, like, it sounds good. It sounded like yesterday. It sounded more raspy. But yeah. I sound like I smoke 10 packs a day. I don't. But it sounds like You're not Jake. (laughs) No. He needs to stop. I think that's the one thing. I'll I'll do something here and there, but like, he has a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) It's great. And cigarettes too. I'm like, wow, that's so 90s. I like cigarettes better than I do. Like a vape. Really? Yeah, I don't need some fruity shit in my mouth. The vapes are wild. I didn't even know. What's in them? Tobacco or weed? Nicotine. Weed. (laughs) Nicotine? (laughs) No, weed. It's nicotine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's, oh, that's crazy. Oh my God. I don't even know. People be smoking. I'm like, what are those? I'm like, so curious. And everyone smokes vapes. Yeah, I don't. It's so weird. I I'll like hit one here and there. Like yeah. I saw some pictures from my party. This is like so funny because I'd never say this on the internet, but eh. yeah. I'm on Just Trish. <laughs> Yay! I saw some pictures from my party. I'm like, whose vape is in my mouth? And then I overheard, like I was talking to my friend and I was like, we like kind of like debriefed the night and she's like, you picked it up off the floor and just started smoking it. Wait, can you do that? <laughs> no, it's disgusting. I literally it, found it on the floor and I was like, meh, it's, it's someone's like vape. up a used cigarette? I would say it's, yeah, <gasps> disgusting. Oh my God. Are you just like, out of your mind, were you just like drunk? Yeah, I was just being like party girl Tara, and I was like, someone's vapes on the floor, I'm gonna steal it. You were party girl Tara, you were Paris Hilton, you were giving in that outfit. It Don't was that's me. Everything. If I ever. Have you not met Paris? Paris? No. Really? She is the reason I am the way I am. Wait, I grew really? up on the simple life. Yes. <gasps> she she follows me on TikTok, but she's never reached out to me. I've like DM'd her a hundred times. On TikTok. On Instagram. Why don't you do on TikTok? I think I've done on TikTok you. too. That's the way to go. But I think she, I think she messages sometimes herself. I messaged her like a couple times too. I feel like it's her sometimes. Really? You never she, did. You need to reach out to her. I've tried. She is. I've just talked about her so much. Like she, she is. She see it. I don't need, there's no words I can say about Paris Hilton. She just like, I think she like paved the way for so many of us mm. where it's like girls that are like, I don't know how to explain it. Like girls get paint it out to be sometimes dumb and naive and stupid and she really like made that a thing mm-hmm. she was like i don't even though it was a character she was yeah. like i don't care if that's who i am this is who i am she like taught girls how to be confident yeah. and she stood up for herself especially like nicole and like the simple life she always stood up for oh herself oh my god yeah and like that's where people are like where'd you get this like confidence from probably that from paris probably paris yeah. and nicole yeah just She's- like watching them i was just like I don't care. It's just like an I don't care attitude. I am who I am and mm. that's who I'm going to be. I don't care. And that was, that is, and people would like make fun of her, call her dumb and all this stuff yeah. and she still like didn't but care. But she still, what I loved about her, she still respected other people's opinions. Oh, And for that's sure. how I am too is like, I don't care if you think I'm weird for like being friends with my ex or anything like that. I'm not asking you to do it. I'm mm-hmm. not asking you to not eat meat. Like, right. it's just who I am. Yeah. And I like, like to respect who other people are, but like, I think it's because of Paris. Yeah. Paris really was like a trouble. That's so funny. Cause we're so, our age gap is so big. I'm like, I think we're 13 years apart. And so it's like, Paris was like my generation icon. And the fact that she's like, your guys' generation icon too. Yeah. Where I saw, they just had an influencer event for I know. living proof. I wanted to go so you badly. You didn't get invited? How? I saw every influencer there. I know. Oh my God. Do, are you with an agency? Or I am. Agent? I am. I am. It's just, it just happened to not be the one I got invited to. That's crazy because I feel like you're everywhere. Well, it'll happen. I think Paris is so connected into social media. Like it'll happen. Like Tana went on her podcast and I think yeah, Tana's I friends with her. I know. She's, yes, she's yeah. another one of mine too where I almost don't know if I'd want to meet her because I'd be like, she Like is, don't meet your heroes? Kind of. Yeah. Because I was like that with Britney. I met Britney during like her dark times, like just at a meet and greet and it wasn't, you know, she was very just like not herself. So I feel like with Paris, it's like, I don't know if I'd want to. I heard she's so sweet and so yeah, wonderful. I only heard good things. So I want to meet her. You do. And I want to just I, I want to be here just to be like, thank you so much because I am the way I am because of you. Do you think you'd cry? 100%. I love that you cry. I love that you cry. You cried the other day on your dropouts and I was like, I kind of love that she's a crier. I am. A, I'm like such a crier. It's so easy to make me cry. And good and bad. Like happy good and, and bad. Like happy and sad. Oh my God. I can, yeah. yeah. I see Paris. That's what I'm saying. You need your Tahari Yummy podcast. I'm sure she'd come on because she's you're so her coded. <sighs> the vibes of you. Like my car is pink because of her. Did you drive it here today? I did drive it here today. Moses saw it. Do you, was it like hot baby pink or hot pink? Baby? Baby pink. <gasps> yeah, it's like a bubblegum baby. Pink. I think I saw it. It's, it's it's a mini mini Cooper. Yeah, I love. Do you like get a lot of attention, like unwanted attention in it? I need to change my car in the yeah. next month. Yeah, pink it's cars. gotten a problem. 
They I've were, had a pink car for years. And just recently, it's become... Just recently, it's become an absolute issue. People are, like, showing up to my house. Yeah. They'll follow you. I have had three pink cars. I just got rid of my pink car, like, six months ago, and it's, like... I wish I bought it. Um, you can. I think it's for sale in Anaheim for 237000 It was originally 600000 I was like, damn, Which they really... Which car? It was a pink Rolls Royce calling in. Imagine was, I bought your car. Please do. <laughs> Well, oh my god! Then you'll get a, you'll just run into the same issues I had, where literally no, I people wait by it, and then you need to get rid of it, which sucks because like it's so I who I am. But I, it's just a weird lifestyle change I need to make. Yeah, it's sad. It's sad. It's sad. Even people who like don't know people who know you will follow you, but people who don't know you will also yeah. follow you, and it's just like this. It's yeah. It, it broke my heart. I was depressed for so long because I yeah. had a pink G wig and I love that, and then the pink Rolls Royce, and I was like, oh. but pink cars are just They're a vibe. everything. Does Paris still have hers? She has, like, I have Bentley. no idea. Uh, her pink cars were so iconic. I have no idea. Uh, and then I feel like, though, you should keep the pink car until you meet Paris. So you can, like, drive to her house in the pink car. I know. I'm like, should I just get a separate one? I could just drive yeah. my mom's car. No one yeah. knows what my mom's car looks like. That's what we did. We had a white Range Rover and I would drive that. But then the pink car just sat there. But it's kind of – it is kind of iconic. It's just I just hard. love it. You know? It's I like a drop mine. top Mini Cooper. Yeah. It's the best. I guess you could save it for those times where yeah. you see Paris. <laughs> Just the one time I meet Paris on. I think, you know, yeah. I was telling myself, I'm like, maybe I didn't get invited to that event because I meant to meet her one-on-one. Oh, for sure. Like, maybe that's yeah. not where I was supposed to meet her. I think she, does she still have her podcast? She probably still does guests and stuff like I that. I don't know. Does she still have her podcast? I don't think she does. Does she? She goes through seasons, I think. I think there's oh. times where she goes through a lot, okay. but I think that's yeah. something or with one of her sliving campaigns or something like that. Stop it. Oh my I gosh. literally, I remember like... Especially, like, in the middle of YouTube where I was a little bit stagnant. I still got amazing views and, like, that's not what I cared about. I just cared as long as I could live off this money and, like, make people laugh. That's all I care about. Yeah. But even when I was, like, a little stagnant on YouTube, like, I would say, like, a year and a half, two years ago, every night before bed I would read, I would read Confessions of an Heiress. Oh, my god! And I would just be like, this is for Paris Hilton. Like, I'm doing this because, like, I know one day it'll pay wow. off. Wow. That's, like, almost manifesting. You're reading the journal before bed and just yeah. – That was an iconic book. That came out again when I was, like, a teenager. It's, like, so crazy that yeah. you, like – have all it's that old mine's old yeah. yeah and did you have it when it first came out no oh you just got i think like, i got it when i was like maybe in middle school or high school where were you watching simple life because i feel like it was on off youtube i just found it i discovered it wow that's so wild and then yeah. did you see all, any of her other stuff like did you watch like house of wax were you like going into a deep dive of paris i did go into a deep dive a little bit especially over quarantine mm-hmm. like i really oh. fell into like being I know so recent recent <laughs> yeah, being, I love that. just being like crazy obsessed just like being like oh, oh my god this is exactly who I want to be ah uh, she's yeah she's just like so herself and I love it and her new shows too she's very like yeah. you just see a different side she's just very like her mom her mom can be wild right she's yeah. always just like tr- like the thing with the tray did you see that with the air meds tray and oh, she's yeah. like why is the stuff on there and Paris is so sweet she goes okay like I'll move in she goes no don't move in she goes okay I don't know what you want me to do she's like I know. so she's like so <sighs> patient and I know I love her have you gotten any of her cookware at Walmart? No, not yet because <laughs> this isn't like no shade. I don't do anything gold and her accents are gold instead of silver. Oh. It's so weird. Wait, what, what do you mean I you just don't do, do gold? Silver. I, I don't know. I just feel like oh, gold in my room. I chose silver today. I was like, do I do gold or do I do silver? And silver. I was like, okay. I only do silver. Wait, why? I wonder why. I don't know why. So Interesting. I'm like, it, it's a little bit, it throws me off a little bit. Yeah. I have well when I move into my own house and I have, I'll have all parasol and cookware. Yeah. Especially the pink stuff. So it's pink with gold hardware. Mm. And all my hardware is silver. Maybe she'll do silver for you. Maybe she'll do for me. (laughs) Daria, me collab. Okay, so Paris is like your ultimate. Yeah. I love that. And your style, because you do describe it sometimes as Paris, because you do like Y2K. Like like you're juicy. juicy. Yeah. I try to mix that. Yeah. Yeah. And like a little Playboy. And like this is like the Regina George necklace except with a T. I love that. My good friend. Oh my God. It's like the same T on your Trisha thing. My mic. It's the same exact T. Where did you get that one? Um, my friend Sophia got it for me for Christmas because it was like the Regina George tea. So we have another tea microphone. When Tana comes on, we give her the tea because I have two of these. So I was like, oh, I should have done it because there's very few people. Okay. Only two teas I know are you and Tana. I think Yay. that's the only one. I guess we have Tara, 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 Trish. Tara, yeah. Love it. <laughs> Did I say Tara? I no, 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 you didn't. I have a friend named Tara. No, that's and okay. she hates when people call her Tara. And I swear yeah. now, because of you, and I know it's in my head. And so many interviews, you're like, I hate when people say Tara. I like Tara. And I'm like, so it's in my head. But yeah. then I have a friend, Tara. So that's okay. Like, people make mistakes. No, but Tara Yummy is like, Tara is just a cute name. So Thank you. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it. So Paris is like your number one. Yeah. Is it all Y2K heroes or do you have any like, we should do like hairstyles. You have a hairstyles tattoo. I do. That's on your. It's on band. my hip right here. It says TPWK for treat people with kindness. That's his song, which yeah. I have no idea. Yes. It's his In song. your video I was referring to earlier, your first video I saw, you said your celebrity crushes. This was four years ago. So let me know if they're still accurate. Was Harry Styles. Do you remember the other two you said? Johnny Depp. Yeah. Is that still accurate? Yeah. And in the video, you're like, I don't care if he's 50. It's so me. At 18, I was the same way. I was like, I don't care if he's 50. And I didn't. Yeah. I was like, whatever. Did I say Cole Sprouse? Yes. I have a video on YouTube. People always ask me about like my celebrity crushes where I went from when I was six years old all the way to like 21 or 22. <laughs> 
where I say every celebrity crush I had each year from what I remember. So whoa, can you give us a few? I love celebrities and my love celebrity recent crushes. ones. Like my like, if I were to do like a celebrity crush right now, it's like Harry Styles, Austin Butler, oh. as Elvis. Oh, yes, if I. Oh, have you I ever watched that movie? Oh. 10 times? Oh, That's so 30 good. hours of my life. Oh, my God. I Actually, would... I first watched it with Brittany Broski. We it watched really... it twice in theaters together. Oh, yeah, together. you guys cooked together. You did, like, a little Elvis, Elvis sandwich. Yeah. 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 I, I'm a huge Elvis fan, and I was, like, way before I, YouTube, anything, like, back in 2006, I was talking about Elvis. But I was so mad that that movie was coming out. I was like, oh, man, everyone's going to be Elvis fans now. But then as soon as I saw Austin Butler, I was like, oh, he's so good. And I'm like... He kind of just crushed it. He was it. just squirming on stage when he was singing Trouble. Oh my I've god! I've watched. That. I really need to cross my legs. I've, I've watched that. <laughs> I know the cross the legs. I've watched that YouTube video a lot. Oh. A lot. This he's so hot. Awesome interviews. Butler. I know. I still feel that way with him. I'm just like, and anything he can do, he can do no wrong to me. Anything he can do. People is are like, fine. he's still Elvis. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care either. And that makes him Who like cares? hot. I His don't care. Boys. Um, Why does it bother anyone? Oh, I, that's exactly it. Doesn't bother me. Let him be Elvis. No. He wants to be Elvis. Let him. He would love you because you look like Vanessa Hudgens too. Stop. But like don't elevated. Say, don't say that to me. <laughs> One time, my friend was like at, a, at this Halloween party, and he texted me, and he's like, Austin Butler's here. <gasps> And did you go? Did you run? I I try, I had such bad FOMO. I like I went and then I got pulled over and I was like, this isn't it. And then he left and then I went home. You got pulled over by the cops? Because I was driving too fast. <gasps> so you thought that was like a sign to like not go? Yeah. Well, I think he had left by then. Oh, it was like man. two or three years ago. It was a Halloween party and I, he's like, Austin Butler's here and he has like his arm around two girls. Oh. And he's recent? Like, was this like last year? No, it was like three years ago. Oh, okay. He's like, you need to come here now. Wow. Do you know how fast I got into my pink little car and sped oh, over there? Oh, he would like love you too. Could you imagine if you started dating Austin Butler? That would be crazy. I feel like now I don't have a chance because of this, but I've also talked no. to him so much. I feel like when you put it out there, you do. No. I know so many girlies that always I think like- he's a girlfriend. Good for him. Does he not? Is it still with Kaya? I think so. And good for him. Yeah. But he's- Gorgeous. Gorgeous. No, I mean, I never get like celeb- like young celebrity crushes anyways. And I'm just like, mm, Austin Butler. Him and Zac Efron, I'm ready too at the moment. Oh, I know about Zac Efron. Do you like him? Because you also- I think he's so talented. The Vanessa Hudgens connection. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> and T for Troy. T for Troy. <laughs> did you ever do that? Um, I, TikTok? I did, no. But when my friend gave me this, I said T for Troy, funny enough. When she wore Yeah, when she them. gave it to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think he's amazing. I think Zac Efron's like really amazing. I didn't see him in the Iron Claw, did you? <gasps> so I haven't seen good. it yet. It's just really sad. And like, I'm going to watch it when I need a good cry. Like, I'm going to wait till the perfect it's moment. It's very sad, but it gave me a resurgence of my love for Zac Efron because really? I did the bet on it music video. I recreated that is it. That's the like, best thing I've ever seen in my life, by the way. <laughs> I was hoping he'd see it. I was like, maybe he'll see it. I want to date me. This was during a breakup I had. And I was like, maybe I'll want to date me. But I think he really likes the young, hot. I, we're the same age. Well, he might be too old for you. I think he's my age. I think Austin's age appropriate. Well, he's like 30. Or is he older? I don't know. I think know. he's 30. Okay, that's that's okay, I think. Yeah. I think Zach is more like 35 or 36, but I don't know. I think there's a little too old for me. Too old, like, for you personally? Because I was like, it's hard. I don't know. I, I mean, I would if it was the right person, but it's like, yeah. I wouldn't, like, I'm not going to seek out someone who's 30. Does that make sense? Right. I think if it's like Austin Butler or Zach Efron, I guess it's yeah. an exception. I think it's like, <laughs> for me, it's like between like 20, three years this way, three years this way, right? Like 20 and 26. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So you could go three years younger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Not yeah. more. Okay. So that's yeah. good. Yeah. I guess it's, it's I mean, Austin yeah. Butler, maybe. Maybe, yeah. If it's Austin Butler, I don't care. <laughs> As Bang <Elvis>. my line. <laughs> Could you imagine if we're talking like Elvis all the time? I would. That's my dream, I guys. Love it. Oh, my gosh. I hope you. Oh, my gosh. I hope you get Zac Efron here. I would love it. I would love to do uh, both I of them. I feel like you can. <laughs> I DM him all the time. If really? you DM there's so many girls that come on here. Do you here, want me to DM him for you? Please. I don't think Zac Efron would answer me. Girls, they, no, seriously. I've had so many guests that are like, oh, yeah. I know someone that like hooks up with him or I've hooked up with him like and I won't really? say who but I know so and I'm like you're my hero <laughs> yeah and it makes me like so happy and I was like if you can get him on the podcast you know what's crazy now that you <laughs> say that so many like YouTubers and this isn't me like airing anyone out I hope but like <laughs> the mainstream media and YouTubers like and like influencers like they're all connected are they Oh, I, I don't know. Like so many like influencers and YouTubers like hook up with like actual like mainstream. Really? I'm oh, like, I what do they no just idea. do? No, I don't. No, I can't, I, think, I can't think of anyone specific, but like, yeah. Oh. Or like not even hook up, but they're definitely like connected and like they talk. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. I didn't know that. I guess because the influencers I was friends with like just weren't. The closest was maybe like David. Like I remember he was friends with like Kylie and stuff. Well, that's huge. No. Is it? I don't know. I don't Kylie? know what's like. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. That's mainstream. <laughs> I don't know. I'm seeing so bad Jenner? I think she's I always mainstream. Think, like in my head, I'm still like Pamela Anderson, but she's like 50, so I guess yeah. I don't know. So I guess Kylie's the yeah. new. Right. You're the new Kylie. You're the D- new. <laughs> don't say that to me. That's what I'm saying. That's I feel like then those worlds will cross, even just as friends. Yeah. Or just flirty people. Yeah. If you saw Austin Butler, would you flirt with him? One hundred thousand percent. That would be. Everything. I wouldn't think twice about it. Ugh. 
Me too, probably. I don't know. Maybe I'd be a little starstruck. It's really hard to get me starstruck, but there's very few people that I think would me do it too. to me. Yeah. I love celebrities. I just love celebrities in general. Me and then too. when people say they don't have celebrity crushes, I'm like, you're lying. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, you have to. And there's so many people like, no, there's no one. And I was like, liars. What? Yeah. I just think celebrities are fun. And me it's too. Like, it's interesting. What is your type? Like your typical type? I think there's a difference between like my type when I like end up like dating someone or like going on dates and like mm-hmm. saying yes. And there's like hooking up with them. You know what I mean? Like oh, I feel like really? for me it's like if I find you attractive, I find you attractive. You could be like a frat bro. You could be like a basketball player. Like I don't care. Like I, you're hot. <laughs> if you're hot, you're hot. Wait, frat bro. You said I sounded like a frat bro with the 100. Oh my God. Like, is that a frat Trish, bro? <laughs> Trish sent me like the 100 emoji, like 100. I'm like, I'm like, I wasn't expecting you to have that in rotation. You're like, that's frat boy. I'm like, is it? I don't know. A little bit. What does frat boy mean? Like what you just said that was like your a, type. Like, what is you it? know, like it's that's not my type, but it's like I'll like, go for anyone, honest. As long as you're hot, you're hot. To me. I think Unless I'm, it comes to like dating and like okay. going on actual dates, like Prep boy is like a jock, right? Like a kind of, yeah. Like I feel like preppy. Like okay, that's not my it. type at all. Like to date, no. I, I don't think I could. Just like interest wise, I don't know if I'd ever be able to like date someone who's like right. super preppy. But um, you like people who look like rock stars. Like kind of, yeah. Jake has that look. Yeah. And, yeah, I feel like I do tend to go for that when it comes to like actually like going on dates, like dating someone. Tattoos, tattoos, yeah, piercings. Okay. Um, but do you know Tommy Lee is? Yeah, of course. Do you know like I, Tommy I met Lee? Him. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, because I'm 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 friends with Britney. What? Oh, okay. I was like, what a Which random. I'm, I'm the biggest ever. Motley Crue fan ever. Oh my god! Yeah, and she was so sweet. She took me to like a Motley Crue concert, and I got to sit backstage and meet everyone. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. Oh my god, that's yeah. kind of everything. Britney's no, that's a very, like, yeah, she's very nice. Oh my god, were you starstruck with him? Um, I think the first time I met him, I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah. But uh, no, I think he's so nice to me, and like, yeah. I have like a couple pictures with him on my Instagram. I'm surprised you didn't see them. No, I feel yeah. like I should. I'm such I, a big Motley Crue fan. Okay, because when I met Jake or when I saw Jake again the first time, Donna I was Tommy. like, yeah, he gave me young Tommy. He gave me MGK as Tommy in the oh, dirt. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was yeah. Like, okay, it's very MGK early. MGK as Tommy Lee in the yeah. dirt. No, I get <laughs> it. From like the 80s, you yeah. know, not the, okay. Because yeah. he was definitely like my ultimate when I was like younger. I remember yeah. just thinking he was like gorgeous. So I thought that yeah. was like. So that would be like your type, but he's, I guess he's older now too. See, again, my references are so outdated. Who's like the new, who's like a new Tommy Lee? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know either. Way. I don't know. I don't okay, know. Okay. It wasn't anything, but I was just like, I feel like there has to be like the rock star, like just life is coming back in general. Yeah. Which is so funny. Cause I feel like I've always been kind of like this. Yeah. Cause I've liked, like I've loved Motley Crue since I was a kid. Like I have, I'm a huge Scorpion fan. I have like a Scorpion tattoo on my shoulder. Oh my like, gosh. Really? Yeah. I mean, my dad went to the Scorpions concert in Vegas and got like matching Scorpion Ooh. tattoos. <laughs> You and your dad? Yeah. Wow. So you're learning all this music, like this old music from, because like Motley Crue's before my, my dad. Time, so, okay, so rock. he's yeah. listening. Okay. Yeah. So like, I feel like I've always been like this. So now like this whole like rock star girlfriend aesthetic's coming. I'm like, this is just kind yeah. of been what I've been obsessed with for so long. Me too. I've always, I mean, I've never dated or like a rock star type, but I always yeah. loved like Pamela Anderson and Me stuff. Too. I was like, oh, so Me good. too. I loved the move, the show, the Pam and Tommy. I know they hated it and like, yeah, they didn't want it out there, but yeah. I kind of lived it for it. Yeah. I'm like, oh man, to be a rock star wife. They used to have that on um, like VH1. There was like rock star wives or something oh, like I that. Oh, I need to watch that. It was like the lead singer from like Jane's Addiction. His wife was on there. Yeah, yeah. And I've it seen was clips like, of it on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. know that you like know all these yeah, old of shows. Course. Yeah. That's so, which is funny because I'm 23. Right. So you're yeah. just like, you just are at home just like watching all these old shows. I'm just so interested in like old MTV, like Y2K, like everything. Wow. Everything. You, but you were born 2000. 2000. So literally okay, 2000. So, wow. That's crazy. So you're into all of it. I love it. I literally have a tram stamp. What is it? It's just like a broken heart with like little like <gasps> flames around it. I want a tram stamp more than anything. Britney Spears had a butterfly one on her back. I, and I thought Do that was so tattoos? cool. No, I'm, I, I, of course I'm not cool enough, not confident enough with my body and I just don't know what I'd commit to, but I love them and I love when people have them. Yeah. You just have the tram I have stamp. 13. Oh. <gasps> Have you ever done a tattoo tour? I've I never. Ask, oh my gosh. Are yeah. they like weird places you don't want to show? Um, they're like on my body. I, I have one on my arm that I just got. It's my sh- dog's name, Sugar. Oh my gosh, Sugar, your Chihuahua. Yes, my Pekingese Chihuahua. First of all, love the name Sugar. I wanted to name our daughter Sugar Cookie. I thought it was such really? a cute name. That's so sweet. One of my friends, she does drag. Her name's Sugar. I just love Sugar. And there was Marilyn Monroe, and so I'm like, aha, her name was Sugar Cane. Oh my god. It was so cute. Yeah. So yeah, I love my dog's Sugar. Sugar. It was it Cane. What did it come from? Uh, Sugar Baby. That's his full name. Cute. Yeah, because he's like spoiled. Okay, yeah. I love that. By yeah. you. Yes, by me. So cute. How old is he? Uh, he. he? No, he. Okay. Yeah. A boy Sugar. named Sugar. Yep. Iconic. His birthday is actually in a few days. He's going to turn four. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What are you going to do for him? I usually just like throw him a little party. Usually like my friend's dogs come over and oh like. Oh my gosh. Right? Yeah. That'll be so much fun. Yeah. Oh my God. I love that so much. Thank you. And you were, I also saw that you were one of your shows of SpongeBob. Yes. Which Huge is SpongeBob fan. so, so rare. Once again, just so opposite of what I would think. I know. You just, and you quote, you like quote all the Spongebob. Uh, always. What do you think about Ari
Honestly, you want me to be honest? I try to, and then recently I can't because I'm like, mm. I don't know if all this stuff's true because I hear stuff about myself every day that's not true. So I try not yeah. to believe it, which is so crazy to say. Again, imposter syndrome. I'm like seeing stuff about myself. I'm like, that's not true. My friends will text really? me. My friends will text me and they'll be like, are you dating Zach? I'm like, no. So where does it get started from? I don't know. A rumor is a rumor. So, and what's the craziest one you've heard recently that's like not true? I guess the craziest rumor I've heard is that me, Jake, and John, you're a throuple. Mm. <laughs> is that crazy though? I feel like that's not that crazy. It's just so it's not plausible. true. <laughs> it's just like random. Like I obviously that never got like, it's not like getting pushed. But, like I saw a comment that they're like, yeah, no, I know. Maybe like, because you said you'd marry Johnny. Platonically. <laughs> Wait. It was a f- Mary kill. <laughs> right. Like I had to pick one. Right. You wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Unalive him. Um, yeah. That's probably the craziest one. Or like that me and Jake are secretly still together and we're just doing this for like views. Man, that would be a good one too. Yeah. Not true. Because you guys do get the views. Yeah. But we honestly don't do it for views. We do it because we hang out. I love that. Like the Target shopping spree and stuff Yeah. Like we that. did it because it'd be fun. Do you get tired of being linked? First no. of all, I think it's – oh, you don't. Know. Okay. I, I know we're going to say. it's a slay. No, I, it doesn't bother me because we're not together. And, like, the reason we broke up is to not be linked together. What about getting linked to other people like Zach, like Vinny, like all these people? Like, do you get, like – I think if I breathe around a guy, I'm going to get shipped with them. And does that bother you? No. I think it's cool. To me, I've always thought it was cool. It's, it's so like, funny, though, because it, like, changes my opinion on them. I'm like, I would look good with them. I, I, really? Yeah, like, sometimes I'll oh, look at the comments. Sh- right. It's just shippers. like, I'm like, are convincing me. I'm like, right. the, the edits, I'm like – this is convincing. Isn't that crazy? Like yeah. you see so many people want you guys to be there and like, yeah. should we? Right. Um, no, it doesn't bother me. I'm like, people can like, it's fun for them. Sure, have fun with it. I yeah. don't care. Again, I could breathe next to a guy and they'll be like, they want each other. I love and it. And actually something, Jake's mom tweeted this the other day. I love that she's on social media. She yeah. like commented on my her. Instagram. I was like, is this yeah. his real mom? I love yeah, it. Yeah, it is. She tweeted saying like, Tara's so magical. She has chemistry with whoever she's next to. Oh my god! And that made me want to cry. Aww. First of all, I like texted her. I love, like, I love her so much. But I thought that I'm like, oh my god, maybe that's why people think I'm like shipped with everyone just because I like I, I'm like I talk so much. That, yeah, like, I just maybe bring it out in them. Yeah, you. I think every person again that's like such a talent. Like any personality, you can like go with, which yeah. is like so hard for people yeah. to do. And I think that's that's so nice that she said that. Like yeah. your ex's mom is saying that yeah, about you. Yeah, I mean, I think also like I'm friends with a lot of shy people. Like Johnny shy, Jake shy. Like my friends are. She's super shy. My best friend here. She's really? Like, yeah. It's so funny because they all seem outgoing to it's me. It's because I'm like so outgoing that I'm like, yeah. I feel like I force it out. They're of just them. like comfortable and stuff like I that. I hope so. Yeah, that's like my said, goal. That's so funny. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of YouTubers are not shy. A lot of yeah. them are very much out there. So when he said Jake and Johnny were in real life, I was like, yeah, they're a little shy. I think Johnny's more shy than Jake, but like, yeah, they're shy. Oh my gosh, yeah. and so weird. And you would think like being popular, they just come like out of their shell like more. But I think they have come out of their shell, shell yeah. a little bit. They're like, but, okay, we're. Yeah. We're here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I love that. Okay. So you don't have like, okay. And now. With- I'm like, what was the question? <laughs> like- Ariana dating SpongeBob. Oh, you're like, I have no thoughts. I have no thoughts. <laughs> right. Cause you're just, you're just used to a lot of stuff being made up about you. Yeah. What's been the hardest part about like blowing up so big? My love life being private. Okay. Yeah. You were saying that. So you're saying like now you're not going to make it public anymore. No, never. Really? Even if I'm dating someone. Really? No, you wouldn't do a hard launch nope. on Instagram? No. Why do you think? Because it was good with you and Jake, right? It didn't affect your relationship. No, it didn't. But I think that that's something, that's like the one thing I'm going to keep private in my life. Mm. It's my love life, I think. Ooh. I mean, if I, I'm like, people will know if I'm like dating around. Like, obviously I'm single right now, but it's like, if I ever get like a boyfriend, I don't know if I'd ever like make him public. Wow. But I don't think I'm getting, I mean, I we literally broke up to be single. I don't think I'm getting a boyfriend anytime soon at all. Mm, I still think he will, but in a good way. Because yeah. I just think you are that girl. But, um, in, a, in again, in the best way, because you're just, you're just a yeah. loving person. You know what I mean? But... And I'm not mm. saying I would never post them. I just would never confirm or deny. So you would post them but not be like all cute. I don't think me and Jake ever posted like that either. Really? We never did like PDA stuff really. Oh, yeah. okay. That's... It's like hard to find clips of us like even kissing. Interesting. So you never did kissing photos or anything like that? I think we have like two out there. Oh my gosh. Maybe. Yeah. Hmm. So the next relationship you keep pub- you keep private. I think so. You'll know. Yeah, okay, you thanks. being trash. Text You'll know. Me. Okay, you can you keep my secrets are safe. Your secrets are safe. Yeah, I know. I was like, you can tell me anything. I love like even before I'm like, <gasps> I want to know because I am. I'm just that person. I'm just like a fangirl of like everything. And me I love too. the gossip of I'm it. I'm the all. same way. I'm like, I just want to know. Yeah, me too. I just want to know, know. Right. Yeah. And you'll tell the close people. Yeah, I will. Okay, I love that. But you're just so open with your life and like I know because you're on a podcast now. And if you do a soul podcast and you do an, like you're just you share so much of your life. I know it's hard. It's gotten hard. People will like ask me so much. Will you say like I have a boyfriend now? And just not say who it is. I don't know. Yeah. Just people want to know so bad. I I don't know. I don't think I will. Yeah. Because I just think it's like hard also to like, then you have to do like a break, you know, hopefully not break up a video, but. No, I know. What if you get married though? Then it's one of those public records. Okay. 
Public is, records. You're thinking so far. <laughs> I'm single right now and I will be for a while. Well, actually, I'll you know, we got married in a private one, so they can't only because we didn't want like our phone numbers out there, our parents' information out there, so yeah. you can get like a private oh, one. I'll do that for sure. You said your biggest fear was um having kids <laughs> or being pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Which one? Pregnant or having kids or both? Children scare me a little bit. Interesting. I just I've never like liked kids. I've never wanted my own. Mm-hmm. The kids around me I love, but other kids they're awful. It's like nightmare fuel to me. Like I just, I don't know how to talk to them. Like, I'll be like, you were good though in that video with your that's niece. That's my goddaughter. Oh, goddaughter. Yeah. Okay. You were so cute. I was like, oh, that's cute. It was hard. It was hard. I love her to death. Were you by yourselves or did, was the mom with you guys? Oh, Brianna. Her name's Brianna. Brianna was there with me. Okay. okay. She was like off to the side. Okay. I'm not going to. There's Solo. no way. Now I will. Now I would if she needed me because she's a little older. Violet's like, I think she's turning four in August. So she's like yeah. older now, but she was like one and a half too. She was barely a. A oh, human. right. You're not changing diapers or no, anything like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> so no desire. I, no. I get that too. Like I never liked anyone else's kids. Even now it's hard. There's some kids that I'm just like, But I will say Malibu seems like a sweetheart. She's a great one, yeah. She seems like a great little kid. I know. I'm scared for the second one because I'm just like, oh my God, Malibu is so perfect. I'm like, they oh say my the gosh. second one's always a little, a little wild. A little wild, yeah. yeah. But I love it. I love that people, I, we were talking about this yesterday too, is like the Seth Rogen of it all where he's just very advocate for no kids. And I think that's like a, an important thing to do because so many people like kind of pressure you to have kids. Yeah, yeah. You know I what I mean? So too. Seth's side is like, have Family, kids. Family, they're like, have kids. Yeah. And, and I'm like, like, if you know, it's not know. for you. I might one day if I ever yeah. get really bored with my life. Change your that's a good time to have kids. Yeah. Like, what can I do now to spice yeah. it up? Yeah. But it's like taking care of a whole other human. Like, if I'm not able to take care of myself, I'm not going to be able to take care of another human. It is. It's surprising because I was never able to take care of myself, but surprising what you can do. I guess well, I, I kind of feel that way with my dog. <laughs> oh, my. I, I never thought I could take care of a dog, but then when I got sugar, he became my world. So taking then, care of a dog is harder, I think. Than a kid? Yeah. Really? I couldn't do it. I gave my I gave my mom my dog and like, first of all, I didn't ask for the dog, but I got surprised for a dog for a video and I was like, okay, so the next day I was like, mom, can you take this dog? Like I did not. Does she still have the dog? Yeah, they still Amazing. have the dog. Yeah, and it's five years old and Aww. yeah, but it's hard and even now it's, it's hard. so hard for them. Yeah, like I have my mom help me with my dog. I have an assistant at home watching my dog right now. Like I, yeah, it's like full time. It's, it's like a child. Yeah, and he's really needy and like really codependent on me. He's just like really has a lot of anxiety. Like mm. the other night, I'll tell you this because it's funny. Yeah. I had like a guy text me and be like, "Come over." I'm like, "I, have a, I can't." You have a dog. I have a dog, <laughs> and he's like, "Bring the dog." I'm like, "Nope." Oh, that's cute. Why you don't want to? Do that? He's so yappy. Oh, and he like bites men. Oh, I love he, that. Like, doesn't like guys. Oh my gosh. So I'm like, like I'm not a. I'm like going to. A, guy's place and bringing a dog that's kind of cute that the do- guy wanted you to bring a dog that's kind of cute yeah, he's like bring the damn dog <gasps> so he like, wanted to see you oh i love that though the fact that he like was okay with your dog coming is everything that was like a hard no for me dating was like just dogs in general because i was always kind of scared of dogs mm. like how you are with kids it's kind of was with dogs not that i like hate a dog and now i think they're cute and like whatever yeah. but that's very much like anyone who had a dog do they sleep in the bed with you he does but i also like wipe his ass and like wipe his paws before he comes in oh, okay because like also my house is like a no-shoe household because they're persian rugs so it's very Ooh. clean yeah. i was gonna ask you about that i didn't want it to be stereotypical but i persian rugs are so bougie and yeah. fancy yeah we've oh, had ours my- for like 20 years though they last because you don't we don't wear shoes in the house. Like, where do you do you like put them where it's like underneath the furniture? Or do you have them just like on display? Oh, we put them underneath the furniture. Ah, uh, I love Persian rugs. I love yeah. it. All of Ventura you Boulevard has it. They're just so expensive. They are. Like, yeah, especially the good with their ones. from Iran. Uh, I can help you. I'm like, I have a dealer. Really? Yeah. I would love it. I yeah. would love. And the only cat I like is a Persian cat. Persian cats, but are they're amazing. also hard to find. Yeah, and they're, they're also so expensive. Gorgeous. Yeah, everything yeah. Persian's expensive. <laughs> The high maintenance yeah, of it girl. all. That's why I'm surprised you don't like gold too, because I always thought like Persian, like gold. you think gold yeah. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, when my like my grandpa gets me stuff from like Iran, he always gets me in like silver plated. Oh my yeah. gosh. Do you have like your name and I do. Farsi? I, I do. love those yeah, plates. I, do. I had one. I had a couple. I had a couple for a while that I used to wear. I should I, like, get you a Trisha it. one in Farsi. Oh, I love it. I, I Would used you to have, have a few. I used to have yeah, I love okay. them. I used to wear them all the time. I thought that was like so really? cute. Really? Okay, yeah. I'll get you one. Oh my gosh, that's like the most iconic thing ever. I'll get you one. Um, but your dog, so would you say that's like your priority in life right now? Like what's your priority? Like YouTube, dog, family, boyfriend, career. Boy- boyfriend. I guess not boyfriend. Someone's going to clip that <laughs> no, and be like, Tara has a boyfriend. Not, she doesn't. And then she, even before, you're like, no, I'm not. You um, explained everything. The my situation. priority is audience. Like, I just want to make them just happy. The entertainment. I just want to make them happy. Whatever they want me to do. And then my dog. I love that. Wait, whatever they want you to do. What, what would be a crazy request from a fan? I don't know. No, I mean, like, whatever videos they want. I'll do oh, whatever okay. they want. I just want to, like, they like me. I'll put myself out there. Would you do touring again? You did stand up, right? Yeah, I did stand up. Would I did you do tour. that again? Mm. one day what's stopping you it was exhausting 
How many cities did you do? Do you remember? Nine. Not even that many. Oh, but that's a lot. I think I did six. And I, was like, and I did them by myself, right? <gasps> it's like a stand-up tour. Did someone help you produce it or were you like calling the clubs? No, someone helped me. I had a company. But like, okay. um, I know I'm like, I'm not even, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about this. I know I'm doing a couple live podcasts. <gasps> it's on a tour with oh. Zach and Jared on Dropouts. Oh my gosh. We're doing an LA show. It's sold out, so I don't even want to promote it. Oh, okay. But, <laughs> You're um, like, don't get tickets. It's yeah. already done. But like, I know we're doing some East Coast dates. It's not a tour though. It's like three dates or something live like show. that. So you like yeah. the live energy. I, yeah, I don't mind, but I don't want to be like, I'm going on tour. Like, no, I want to focus on like making my videos and pushing them out and like, yeah. Yeah. So what is, oh, so that's, okay, so with entertainment wise, is it YouTube or podcasting that you prefer? Uh, YouTube's my baby. That's your, that's my child. Yeah. You're so good at it. I'll never stop either. It's so good too, because you are so simple with your videos, like the hoarding video. Like, it's just very simple. And I'm just like, God, I wish this was like the content that's still sold. It sells for you, but I don't think anyone else could do it this way you Thank do. Thank you. Actually, do you know who made me realize my content is my friend that's sitting here. She was like, you do BFF content, which means it feels like you're just on FaceTime with someone. Yeah. And I didn't even know what that meant until she told me that. And I was like, wow. It's the, that is what I do. Yeah. You eating ice cream. I remember there was one of you eating ice cream. Oh, yeah, I was that like, was like my live channel. Oh, yeah. oh wait. So do you I like stream? I mean, I've been like kind of slacking because it's, everything's been crazy. Where and, do you like, stream on? Twitch. And then I take those videos and I turn them into like, YouTube videos. That's so smart. Jake does them. I learned it from Jake. Yeah. he. I just saw today he was talking about his channel. And I was just like, oh my God, that's literally so smart. Yeah. And so you're on Twitch. Yeah. They tip you on there? Uh, I think like subs. I try not to like, tips don't really like. No, okay. no, yeah. So it's, uh-huh. but it's not like a monetary thing for you over there. You just do it for no, fun. I just do it for fun. Because I know some people make so much money off Twitch. Yeah. I mean, I do make money off of it. I'm sure. Okay. But I didn't know how that works. I think I've never, I've never done Twitch or streaming. I get scared with streaming. I just don't like people knowing where I'm at. Yeah. And that's kind of why I'm like slacking a little bit. It's a little yeah. scary. What is it when they like call the cops? You know, it's like, yeah, that's terrifying to me. I'm like, that's like the main reason I would never go live. But I mean, yeah, be sure. I mean, but people who do that is like so weird. How do they not get caught? They do. Or do they? They do. They're like kids mostly, I guess. Right. Yeah, I think so. Anyways, I mean, I know everyone does streaming and stuff like that, but do you play video games or anything on no, it? No, my oh, God. You just talk. I suck at video games. Have you tried? Yeah. Yeah, I tried to. There's a couple of videos on my channel. I suck. What did you try? Five Nights at Freddy's. I do, oh, that, yeah. I do that every Halloween. We couldn't even move. We couldn't even get out of yeah. the closet. Or- yeah, I usually have someone helping me. I can't do. <laughs> it's it's like not scary either. I'm it's so like, bad at video games. It gives me a headache. Yeah, we've been trying for the Patreon and I'm like, I try Fortnite. I finally learned how to pick up a gun. I was like, okay, <laughs> like, like I can do that, but I can't do anything else. Yeah, it's I suck. so difficult. I suck. Do you act or anything? I did. I did musical theater growing up. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, There's I a lot of reasons I love you. you. Oh, wow. Okay, would not expect. That's my favorite thing. When people say that, I'm like, whoa, what? I'm full of things. Wait, what? Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I, was in, I did musical theater growing up. Oh, I, are, yep. Do you sing? I suck. I have nodes, so I can't sing anymore. I used to be better, but what now did, I can't even. Where did they come from? How did that happen? I like vocal nodules. It happened when I went on Accutane, weirdly enough. That is so weird. I know. Can you feel them? No, but like my voice will like get shot way quicker than anyone else's. I have like a little bit of a rasp. Yeah, your voice yeah. is like that. But you were singing before. Yeah. Growing up, I sang. Oh, do you like to sing now? Like, would you do like karaoke and stuff oh, like that? Karaoke is my everything. Yeah, you love that. I love okay, karaoke. So you're like not shy about singing. Or no, anything. oh my God. And I suck too. I'm not good anymore. Are you I sure? I feel like you might be. No, 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 no. no. The I ones would... who say they suck are usually pretty good. No, 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 no. <laughs> if I was good, I'd be like, yeah, I can hold it now. What's your no. go to? Bohemian Rhapsody. Can you sing some? <laughs> I always ask people to sing. I was like, no. I'm a terrible singer. <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody. That's I like do it. so The extra. only reason I do it is because everyone else starts singing. It's That's so funny. That's still a popular song. To me, of again, course, that's like it's the best song ever. <laughs> it's like, again, before my generation. I guess it's like a classic song that people like. Queen's my favorite band of all time. No way. Yeah, because of Freddie Mercury. He was Persian. Was he? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Is he from, is he from Iran? I don't know, but I know he's okay. Persian. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Oh, I don't know much about him. I just saw the movie and I was like, oh, yeah. Do you know Rami Malek? Is yes. he Persian? No, I think he's Egyptian. I no, love I that you know, know he's Egyptian. All this stuff. He's oh, Egyptian. How do you know that? Because I was like obsessed. Oh, so when, so you liked how he performed as I did, memory. yeah. Because you know, some people who are like Queen fans were like, mm, he didn't do it I right. I think he did a good job. Whoever did the vo- vocals for it was amazing. Because there was some. I think it was half him, half someone else. Someone on YouTube. Yeah. And then half actual Freddie Mercury got blended into three. Oh, it's very Austin Butler because I think Austin yeah. sang some and then he also had some Elvis blend too. You literally said Austin Butler. I felt chills. I know. I love, I do love him. I love but him. I love that you love all these people. So you like Queen. Yeah. Favorite band of all time. Of all time. And your favorite song is Bohemian Rhapsody? No, my favorite song is probably Love of My Life. Oh, that's a pretty one too. That's the one where like the whole crowd was singing yeah. right about love his. Love of my life. Yeah. yeah. Can you sing more? I love it. 
No. I like the song Fat Bottom Girls. Oh, I love that song. Fat Bottom Girls, you make the rocket world go round. I loved it. And the the album cover was like a big, a big butt on there, like riding a bicycle. And to me, I was like, that could be me one day. I could be on the album cover. I did that song. Oh, totally. No, the gays, they know. You know what I mean? Oh, speaking of, I love the music video, um, I Want to Break Free. That was like one of the first. Is that the one where he's? Yes, he's in drag, okay, and he's like. Yeah. That was the first music video. My, that's one of the first music videos my dad ever showed me. That and um, Thriller by Michael Jackson. Ooh, yeah, and they stuck with you. Yeah, the eighties had such a. Michael Jackson's one of my favorite people too. I like I, love him when he so died. Much. My parents didn't tell me they like hid everything from me because I had a shrine of him in my room. No way. Mm-hmm. I used to go to his house. I would sit outside his house, and he came out sometimes mm-hmm, in Los Olivos. Trish. Yeah, when I was like thirteen. My dad would like take me up there and we'd just sit outside. You're lying. We went to his court case in Santa Maria. Like we'd you're go everywhere. Lying. Yeah. My dad would just like take me. That's the coolest thing I've ever heard and about. And he would you. come out and like talk to people. And I like obviously now you're not supposed to show up to people's houses. And I yeah. feel like I have karma because like people had showed up to my house yeah, and stuff same. like that. But he was so cool. He'd come out and talk to you. And like yeah. and that's why they were giving hope to people. But um he was so cool. I love Michael Jackson. He's so gorgeous too. Like yeah. all his music videos. Um, I love that you're so nostalgic and all this I stuff. I am, and it sucks. Wait, why? Because I'm like, it's I so wish cool. I was like this age in like the early 2000s, and I'm like, wait, no, I wish I was this age in the 80s. And I'm like, right. I can't pick. Like, just be happy. Does it make you sad ever? Like, oh, my oh God. I'll never get to meet these yes, people. Yes, it does make me yeah, sad. Yeah, me too. Like, you could never, I could never have dated Elvis. I'm like, dang, that sucks. Yeah. Or Freddie Mercury. He We're the same in that way, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. And that's why I think, like, watching you, I'm like, I get it. Some right. of the things you say, I'm like, I've thought that. Yeah. Where you're just like, and people think you're like crazy, but I do. Oh, yeah. I'll get like sad, like crying over like yeah. stuff that I'll never get to do. I'll same. Be like, damn, I wish I could have same. met him or known him. Or no, literally same. Michael Jackson too. I really wanted to like marry him. I think the most thing I get sad about is like, I wish I got to party in the early 2000s where like the paparazzi was a thing. And like, and that's oh. why I think I'm trying to make it a thing. I'm like, I want to throw these parties. Yeah. I want to be the next, <laughs> like I want to resurgence this for like you Hollywood. You could do it. You could do it of all people for sure. Thank you. That would be everything because you are getting paparazzi now. Like you literally, the other day when I was seeing you, we don't have to go into details, but I was like, wow, she's literally getting paparazzi. That's crazy. Yeah, and that you was, don't call them. No. Wild. Because I know some people call paparazzi. I think we had Heidi on from the Hills and she was talking about calling the paparazzi. I'm like, that's so genius. I should call Some people paparazzi. do it for like publicity, but no, no, no. I've wow. never called the paparazzi on myself. Do you feel cool when it happens or are you like, do you hate it? Because you know people are like, don't take my picture. But for me, I'd feel so cool. I'd be like, hi. I will say, I was so scared. I didn't, I oh, didn't really? think I would be. I think I'd be like, I love it. Like, I, I feel like I couldn't see where I was going. Really? It was kind of scary. So it was scary. The flashing was scary because the people, like oh, guys. The flashing. The flashing mm. was scary. Because you literally couldn't I see. I couldn't see. Oh, my God. So what happens then? Like, do you have to tell them to, like, stop? Did you tell them to stop or anything? No, I just got in the car. Right, because you're going to Valley. Okay, got it. Okay, I just never have had that happen. I'm like, what a crazy surreal I mean, experience. that was like a – actually, I've gotten paparazzi one more time. I was with Corinna in, like, Miami. We got, like, randomly paparazzi. But it was, like, daytime. So, like – Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. She's so popular now, too. I only know her briefly. And yeah. I was just like, that's crazy how popular like she is, too, with, like – and you guys have been friends for a while. Yeah, like three years. I saw in the interview and you're like, everyone's talking about it now. But I was like, I had no idea. Yeah. How did you guys meet? We met at my friend JC's birthday party um, years ago. Oh, okay. Randomly. So, right. You guys are kind of in the same world of yeah, friends. Yeah, we, we just met and then she was like, want to get sushi tomorrow? And I said, sure. And then we just became really good friends. Oh my God. You are really, it's really crazy how you can just have that connection with everybody. I think the way we met though, she was like sitting with this guy and he was being a weirdo. And I was like, oh, I really do go to the bathroom. Will you come with me? And she had just said hi to me. And she's like, like, sure. And then she came and she's like, oh, do you need to pee? I'm like, no, she was, he was just being a weirdo. And then he's, and then we like kind of oh. got to talking and then. Yeah. That's very like Sydney Sweeney and anything but you. When you remember I when he's like, it. oh, it's so cute. I need she has to. to like go to the bathroom, but they won't give her a key. So he's like, oh, honey, because he's like getting coffee. He's like, what did you want for coffee? And he's like, that's my wife. Give her the key to the bathroom. He like oh, saved her. I need to watch it. Yeah, that's kind of, you get like the vibes. I feel like that movie you would like. It's because it's kind of Y2K romantic Ooh, comedy. Really? Yeah. Oh, they don't, they just don't do rom coms the way they used to. I feel like they're trying to bring her back. Like Anne Hathaway is doing one right now really? about a rock star. It's <gasps> about like a rock star. It's kind of like a Harry Styles fanfic I heard about how he like, Caesar, I think at Coachella or something, and then he like talks about her on stage. Like, I just met a girl tonight, and this song's for her. Yeah, I have chills. <laughs> it's very that. It's, it's like very, so fanfic. It's very I fanfic. Have yeah, and it's Wait, like what? This is news to me. It's new, and it's like so cheesy, and it looks so weird, and it's but it's good. And then he like falls in love with her. She's like, but I'm just a normal girl. Why do you like me? Stop. <laughs> I need to watch it now. Yeah, it's. I think it comes out like a month. It looks really good, actually. But it's very in the rom com style. I know it's like my. I is it going to come into theaters? Yeah, I think Let's so. Let's go watch it. Yeah. Oh my down? gosh. Oh yeah, because you're close to me. Yeah. Actually, the theater near you is the one I always it's, go yeah, to. Yeah, I know. That one I recognize like it. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's a great one. It's a great theater. It's, like, it's new. Dine in. It's like nice. All that little like social area. Oh yeah, area. it's amazing. I love that you do live close. You said that too. I was like, oh, God, I love when people are like Valley girls. Me too. Because then it's just like you don't have to go far in. Oh, I love it. Hollywood. It took and- me 15 minutes to get here. That's wild. And you are punctual. Barely. I have to say again on camera, like, how punctual you are. Like, Thank you so much. You were here right at 10.30 or 1.30. Oh, and I was like, of course. Amazing. I, I hate being an inconvenience to someone. Oh, my God. Your work, it pisses me off so much. When people are, like, late. It's like, I just, like, I don't like people who, like, waste people's time. I think it's rude. Yeah. I think I grew up with such crazy manners because my parents are immigrants. Right. And, like, I just think it's rude. Like, don't inconvenience people. And so I try not to. I feel that way, too. I feel that way with time. But I used to be like that a lot. And now I'm kind of more, especially because we do it out of our house. I'm kind of like, show up whenever. But, yeah, I get that way. I always am, like, 20 minutes early. And then I wait outside. I don't go in. I, like, wait until, like, on the dot. I wait in the car. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) No, I I, I was there exactly on time, though. Yeah. I don't know how. I didn't plan it. That was crazy because yeah. you came like right there. Um, speaking of crying and being emotional, uh, so you did cry on the recent drunk episode of Dropouts. Did I? Yeah, you were crying over. You were talking about men, how men aren't, sh- and you were like crying. Kind I mean, of, it sounds just, like me. You I'm just not started- being a past myself, but <laughs> okay. So you don't remember? I didn't know if it was about something recently because I haven't seen you cry that much, and that's why I was like, I remember. I want to say it was a drunk episode, like a you guys do Patreon or something. Yeah, I tried to like actually get vulnerable on the internet. But, like, I'll cry if it's, like, for happy tears or, like, funny. Like, it's, like, a funny cry. Oh, really? So you never, like, open up or, like, cry about something that's actually no. bothering you, okay? No. That might be a... I try not to let things bother me enough to make me cry. That's so If I'm so crying, good. it's usually, like, sad crying because, like, something's actually, like, sad or, like, happy crying. Because even in the breakup video... Um... I literally say this is so cringe. Wait, what? The in, cry. Like, in the video, I say this is so cringe that, that you're I'm starting to cry. Because you were, you were... I never let a tear drop, though. I'll tell you that much. You had a little, you were like a little more emotional. That's why I was like, oh, I kind of felt bad. Like I know you said yeah. it was like mutual and you like wanted, but I was like, oh my God, wait, I feel like she's so sad about it. Just like the ending of something. Yeah. I just, I never thought we'd have to make a video. You know what I mean? Because you never thought you'd break up. Yeah. But it's better now. Yeah. Okay. I love that. Okay. I mean, and you're young. I mean, I feel like 18 Yeah, we're so is young. Like, and who knows? Maybe in 10 years we'll get back together. Maybe in five years. Do you think that would ever be a possibility? Yeah, people ask me all the time, and I'm like, I don't know what you'd be open to it. Yeah, I don't even know what tomorrow holds. I'm open to a lot of things. I love I try to keep everything open. I try not to be so closed minded. Even though I do have so many opinions and I know what I like, Mm -hmm. I try my best to be an open minded person with everything. Oh my God. I think that's the best way to be. Thank you. To not really. Yeah, go. And it's it's so interesting too because of like your upbringing. You grew up in LA, immigrant parents, you're an only child, but you're just so like well rounded. Do you think it's because you did watch so much like TV and pop culture growing up? Maybe. Yeah. And I think having immigrant parents helped. Like they just taught me so much how to like respect other people and like, mm-hmm. and like just like be myself. Yeah. And not care. And not care. What people yeah. Are. Them and Paris Hilton. That too. Yeah. Paris Hilton. <laughs> this one I loved. Um, the mouth clicking. <laughs> love it first of all i love it and i like could not believe he didn't like it's so cute i i i'm aware you haven't of it now. done it you haven't done it since I you've have. been here i'm sure i have Wait, really? I, the first time you just did it and i love it it's giving me asmr i know you go mm, after you say mm, things I, and i don't i never hear myself say that i never hear myself go and he's like and jay's like i hate it stop and it's it not even like i'm just like like it's like the way my mouth works and now he does it oh no yeah people are like catching him they're like you're doing it it's kind of endearing I love I just it. Actually did it again. It's like it's like I don't catch it. It's something I ever caught about myself. And he's like, Tar, it's so fucking annoying. Yeah. And then you're like, what? And he's like, you just did it again. And I was like, how cute is it though? Thank you so much. I think the math clicking is like so amazing. It's just the way we talk. Like you go mm, after mm, you say something. Right? And you don't even know. And it's just the way I'm sorry. I can't control the way I speak. The valley girl. People are always like, oh my God, like totally. I'm like, that's just the way I talk. So it's, it's like, are you making fun of me? Or? Yeah. It's like <laughs> yeah. it's very Valley Girl too. Did you ever see the movie Valley Girl? Probably. With Nicolas Cage? No. Oh, oh, man, you got to watch it. They did a remake, and I think Logan Paul was in it, but I don't think it ever came out. I think it was a scandal that happened back in oh, really? Japan. Yeah. Never and it was, it. like, this whole remake thing, and I was like, Logan Paul was, like, an actor at one point. He was, like, in everything. I thought Jake Paul was the one in Disney. He was, but Logan also did movies. Maybe he only did Valley Girl. Maybe that's the only thing I'm thinking of. And then just never came out? Yeah. It's interesting. It was, like, a big movie, I too. I always wonder how many things get filmed and then never pushed. Oh, yeah. I think a lot. Isn't that crazy? There was a there was a big movie he was in recently, and his scene got cut, and it was a big. I want to say it was Baywatch. Was Zac Efron? I haven't seen it yes. yet. Isn't that crazy? I, I need to watch it. So good. And you're missing all the good Zac Efron I ones. Know. Those are all I the love, amazing. My favorite Zac Efron ones, like Neighbors, Seventeen Again. Oh, that's so funny. That's like the era of Zac that I didn't like love. That's, really? To me, that's what did you call it? frat bro? Yeah, that's like frat bro. And I like I like my Zac Efron like High School Musical. Oh yeah, I like him there too. Who doesn't? Yeah, like that him. was my actual childhood. High school musical. 2009, 2007, 2008. Yes. Oh my god. I love Sharpay that. Evans is probably, I mean, she was like 
everything to me too. Were you more Sharpay than Gabriella? For sure. Yeah, because she was like peak and girl. She was like the it, the it girl. Yeah, she was the it girl. Yeah. Sharpay's fabulous adventure. And you know what? I have my two cents on this, and I've talked about this before. I don't think Sharpay Evans was the villain. Who do you think was? Wait, really? Why? I feel like she kind of was. Do you want to know why? In High School Musical 2, and correct me if I'm wrong, she was like, she, all she wanted to do was be with Troy the whole time, or High School Musical 1. Then Gabriella Montez comes into the school and thinks she's the sh- <laughs> and she takes over. And yeah, Troy liked her, whatever. But Sharpay has been waiting for Troy for years. Then in High School Musical 2, when they're finally dating, uh, Gabriella and Troy, Sharpay was like, hey, like, I'll literally get you a scholarship for golf and to college. And like, your life is set up for you. And like, I love you so much. All you have to do is date me. I'm just saying, I don't think Sharpay Evans was the villain. I mean, she what was, did she do? She I, wanted to be the. She, wanted she to be was the star kind of trying musical. to buy him away from Gabriella. Listen, I love the take because I'm a Sharpay it's a girl hot take, too. I know, but I think I just don't think she was ever the villain. I don't think she was like the protagonist. But I don't yeah, think she we was didn't root for her. Well, no, I think towards the end we kind of rooted for her. High school musical three. Root for her. Yeah, because then she got her karma. That girl came in yeah. and tried to steal the spotlight from her. Yeah, and that girl's on TikTok now. And she's like, I was thirteen when I, I did saw that movie. That. Yeah, I have chills. We're on the same for you page. <laughs> we, I think we are. Because everything like, you see, I've seen. Yeah, and I think that's kind of every that I I like the take on that actually. I, just, I don't think she was like the protagonist, but I don't think she was like the villain. You don't think Gabrielle? But do you think Gabrielle was the villain? No, because she was. She was a little hot and cold with him. She's like, yeah. I know you got all the tickets for prom and the in the yeah, she was kind coming. of. I'm not coming back. Sorry. She was kind of for that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, come back. Like, it's it's one night. Damn. <laughs> and she's like, no, she made him come up there. Yeah. And like, she was like in the, he was like in the tree. Yeah. Like, girl, <laughs> come back for one night for prom. Troy was doing a lot to be with her though. He's yeah. like, I'll do anything. Troy was dropping, Troy was dropping freaking, what's it called? <laughs> Scholarships for this girl. And this girl couldn't come for one night so and true. be her prom, be his prom date. Damn. Yeah. She loves him a lot. And that's, and that's, and that's my take. Okay. See? I like it. I love it. I see, okay. I'm getting very, this is the most passionate I've ever been I in my life. I kind of love that take. I'd never heard that. I don't think she was the That's villain. a new conspiracy that comes out on TikTok or Reddit or whatever the thing is I that people it. do it. Oh my gosh, because I've never heard that. And she was good. Sharpay at the end had a good heart, you know, through everything. I think so too. I think she was just a little bit spoiled and that's okay. Yeah. And I feel like she went to New York, she met Austin Butler. Right. Right. He helped her with everything. Right. Which Sharpay's is, fabulous adventure. Uh, so good. Yep. I hope they could do a reunion. That'd be like the most amazing <sighs> thing ever. I don't know. I feel like they all kind of don't like each other now. You really? know, like Ashley Tisdale and Vanessa Hudgens aren't friends anymore. Do you know that for a fact? No. Or, oh, right. I know. Here I am. Or is here people make things up from the internet. I know. They really do. I just go Again, with whatever people open. say. Just got to keep it open. You never know. I think it's always fun. I'm like, it's probably not true, but like, it's fun. Although like the rumors <laughs> I have heard, not about me, but like sometimes I hear rumors online and then like I'm friends with those people. They always have a little bit of truth. I've noticed a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It has a little bit. stem from something. So, yeah, right. It usually doesn't come out of nowhere. When you're friends with influencers, um, do you text them or is it like, and you don't talk about it? Like when there's like something happening, you're like, is this true? Depends how close I am with them, right? So yeah. it's like if I'm like really close with someone, I'm like, you good? Yeah. And then it's just a text. Yeah. Yeah. I always wondered that. Because no one's ever like asked text me. me if stuff are true or not. You know what I mean? Not that it, okay, Maybe they're I scared. Close. Maybe. You can ask me if you want. You have my number. The, yeah, I'll text you. Anytime I probably you want. will because I'm always like, oh, I need to know. Yeah, as long as you don't say if it's true or not. No, care. no, no. And I've been really good at it because yeah. I do know sometimes we get brought up stuff. I'm like, oh, I kind of do know the tea. But yeah, no. As long as you don't tell anyone, yeah, I'll tell you. If you oh want to know if something's true or not, just text me. But again, sometimes I'm like, maybe I don't even trust myself with it. You know, sometimes you're oh just like. Oh my God, I get that. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. do I want to know? Right. I'm good with it, but it's like, it's so hard because I'm one of those people, you know. Is there someone you tell everything to? Someone's like, don't tell anyone. Like, is there someone like your mom or something? Like, Jake, I'm going to tell her though. Sometimes, Jake. Yeah. I mean, you have to. That's how I'm with my husband. I'm like, well, I won't tell anyone, but I probably tell my husband. Like, I sometimes, don't know. Sometimes, Jake. Yeah. So you're kind of, that's your like confidant. Yeah. You're like, I know I'm not supposed I to. I try not to, though. When someone says, like, don't tell anyone, I don't. But, like, if I feel like I can tell Jake, sometimes I'll tell Jake. Well, I wonder why that is. Because, like, I'm the same way. And it's kind of awful, actually. It's because like, I know it won't go anywhere past him. Right. He's not going to tell but anyone. But why do we feel the need to, like, tell I don't know. Else sometimes I tell my dog. Oh, sometimes that's I sit good. there and I'm like, I need to get inside of my system. And I'll just sit and talk at him. Dogs uh, can talk, though. If you. What? Yeah. <laughs> I talk about this what? so much, but I feel like, yeah. If mm, Have you ever done hallucinogens? Oh, like, we've talked about this. I was here when you were talking about oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So hallucinogens, like, can make a dog talk in, like, a different dimension. So it's scary. And the reason I say that is because if you tell him your secrets, he'll say it. And the reason I know is because the dog I talked to knew my passcode. And I didn't tell – it wasn't my <laughs> dog. Are you sure you weren't just tripping <laughs> balls? I swear. I swear. Because I was so aware. I was so aware. I don't so think aware. it's the dog talking. I think it's your brain telling the – like, see, hearing him say your no, passcode. No, it was you like knew a your siren. Passcode. He was like a siren talking. He was like, whoa. 
you know, I was like saying the numbers. It was like a siren. And I remember it so vividly. I think you were tripping balls. <laughs> no. But I believe you. I believe your experience. And I'm not invalidating your experience, but I think you were tripping balls. <laughs> I love the new generation. I love that you guys like love that. Like validate other people's emotions. I mean, you probably I do. tell me crazy. But I think that's it's good. It's a good way to be. Sometimes I'm like, mm, okay. But this one was so real and so I true. I believe you. I wouldn't just say it because like, I'm not even a dog person. It wasn't even my dog. So I'm not, but I always just tell people like dogs can talk, you okay. know, just kind of go to that different realm. Just do like shrooms. I think they're legal. Maybe I don't know. I always talk about hallucinations like they're legal. I don't know if they are. I think they are. I think they're just like decriminalized. You can go get. I feel like if my dog could talk, he would tell me to shut the up. <laughs> do you talk a lot to your dog? Yeah. But he's a yapper, you said. Yeah, but he barks. Like I feel like he would tell me, he'd be like, God, please, mom, stop talking. Really? I think that's a lot of people feel about me. I don't think that at all. I think you are such high energy and it's like so much, but I think it's like the best because no one's like that. Thank you so much. No one is bubbly like that. You know what I mean? Because even like Paris to me is like, she is the icon, right? But she's like very laid back. Yeah, she is. And there's yeah. very, like, I'm, I'm a to talker. Who, I'm a yapper. Who's like a, who's a hyper yapper that like when they used to go on, <laughs> but I feel like I took it from someone. So I'm trying to think of right, like, who is it? Who talked all the time that would just be like, hi, I'm so happy to be here. Like, I feel like there is someone and I can't think who that I was. I don't know. It wasn't Pam because she was always sultry. It wasn't really Jessica. I don't know. There was always someone that would be like, yeah. hi. So I guess it's just a vibe. You just want to be that person that's yeah. so out there. Um, Lindsay Lohan's making a comeback. She's yes. Y2K vibes all the way. And she has yeah. little, and I feel like that, she was queen of paparazzi. I feel like that whole era is trying to make a comeback. I want yeah. her. I DM'd her. She follows me on Twitter. I keep DMing her. Is she, she going to come, come on? on? I just want people to come on my show. I never socialize with people. I just want to like come on and just talk to them. I think it's just so interesting. I don't like rejection. Me neither. Oh it's my god, like my biggest. It's so scary. That's the one thing for me. Do you feel which is crazy? Because like I'm not scared of embarrassing myself and stuff like that. Right. You just don't like. like I'll pick my nose on camera. Because <laughs> if I'm putting it out, then it's like you can't embarrass me. Right. Right. But if you so your rejection is more like you ask someone to do something like no. And they're like no. Yeah. I'm like why? So that's interesting. Have did you have rejection as a kid? Oh, this is so deep. Mm. <laughs> Like, did, like, people at school – because people at school no. would tell me, like, they wouldn't want to hang out no. or something. I don't okay. know where it comes from. You just have that fear. Yeah. Because you have a lot. So you also said, like, not in a bad way, but you also said you were hypochondriac. Yes. So I'm oh like, where does that come from? After COVID, it happened to me. Oh, recent. Yeah. And you don't have, like, OCD or anxiety or anything like that? Uh, No, I don't think okay. so. I've noticed a couple things that, like, I do. Like, I'll, like, turn a light on and off a couple times and I heard that was like an OCD thing I don't want to diagnose myself right right so you're um, like so what do you do like I'll, like I'll be like if I don't turn the slide off twice something bad will happen to my family and I heard that was an OCD oh. thing I didn't know that until literally two days ago though and I'm like oh I wonder why it's like that maybe it's I'm just like weird and I'm like making things up in my head do you do the thing where you're like if like it's uh you're like okay if I make this green light then yes. I'm gonna win the lottery or something yes, yeah I do that I heard that's an OCD thing but again I don't I know I do that too sometimes but I don't know what that I don't is, know either. What it is either I think I'm just making things up in my head but yeah <laughs> no seriously uh but yeah I'm not I'm not that much of an anxious person I think I don't get like socially anxious. I think when I'm alone, I get anxious. Right. It's like the opposite of social anxiety. Mm -hmm. But um, what was the question? Just like if the <laughs> hypochondriac, well, oh. and the anxiety yeah. and all that stuff like that. I don't that. know. The hypochondriac stuff came after COVID where I have an autoimmune disease. I have alopecia. So once what I- What is that? Uh, it's when you lose hair in like chunks. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like you get like bald spots mm -hmm. if like you're sick or something or like if your immune system's really weak. Um, so oh. Yeah. Is this all your hair? Yeah, your it's all so, my hair. Oh, it's so nice. Well, you have so much hair, so. It's because I'm Persian. Oh, Trust you're me, like, there's, there's yeah. hair everywhere, too. It's not just my head. <laughs> I gotta same. get lasered. I know. Um, the hair is, is, it's a problem. Well, it's not a problem. If you like it, you like it. But yeah. it's a problem for me because I have so much hair, too. Yeah, same. Um, but yeah, after, like, I noticed, I mean, I have an autoimmune disease. When I get sick, I get really sick. Like, it's mm. never just, like, I have a cold. So, because of that, I don't want to get sick. And I love working and I love hanging out and stuff like that. So, yeah. like, it'll drive me insane if I, like, catch a cold or anything like that. And I'll, I'll have anxiety about getting sick. If, like, someone sneezes around me, I'm like, stay away. Yeah, because you said that because I was, I was sick that yeah. week. And I was just like, oh, I don't want to, like, get And that's why sick. I told you. I'm, like, a little under the weather. Like, my voice is shot. I want to, like, warn you about it. I'm like, yeah. just so you know. Because, like, I don't like when people are around me and they're, like, not feeling it's well. It's kind of the worst. It is awful. Like, people will just try to, like, show up and just, you're, like, hacking or sniffling. I'm yeah. just like, <gasps> and then I get sick really. Now I get yeah. sick easily because of being pregnant, but yeah. it's the worst. Yeah, I know. And I was sick for just a short amount of time, but you know, sometimes it lingers. Yeah, something's for like going around, yeah. A couple months. So so the alopecia is autoimmune disease too. Yeah. So it affects affects like your just immune, My immune system. system. Yeah. You just get sicker easier. I get sick really easy. Yeah. Okay, so you're not even a hypochondriac, you just actually get sick. Yeah, but then I'm like, I have a hypochondriac about it because I'll be like, oh my god, I'm sick and it's just a headache. And I'm like, I'm getting a fever mm. and it's just a headache and I haven't drinking water. Like I'll psych myself out about it. Mm. So yeah, and then when you start like thinking about stuff, then it kind of like manifests yeah. into like yeah. an actual sickness. Yeah. Do you Google? 
Like your symptoms? I try not to. Yeah. Yeah. Jake's a chronic thing. Googler, so I try not to be a Googler. Yeah. The Googling's bad because like no matter what comes up as something, like you're yeah. dying or something yeah, like, like that. Yeah, cancer. Yeah. Something horrible. Literally say everything I Google is like you can't have anything to eat when you're pregnant. Everything you just is bad for you. Like don't yeah, eat anything. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So I literally just stopped eating. I was like, I don't know what else to eat because everything's bad for you. Me and all that stuff like that. Um, what is your biggest like – like, did you have a backup plan if you, this didn't work out for you? Like, I know you said communications, but did you... I wanted to be... So, I wanted to be, like, an actor or, like, something with fashion or, like, YouTube. Mm-hmm. That was my first thing, right? Oh, fashion. Yeah. Okay. If something like that didn't happen, I wanted to be a drama or an art teacher at high school. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Why high school? I liked high school. The high school age yeah, and stuff like I that? I liked it. And, dr- and art. So, what kind of art? Like, uh, painting I, I and stuff? To, my, my major used to be fine arts. <gasps> I changed it to communications, like, halfway through. Oh, wow. Yeah, I used to oil paint and stuff. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And what would you like draw like what was your would you like abstract realism? Um like I, I did a lot of like fantasy stuff, like unicorns and stuff Whoa. like that. Oh, do you have the stuff still? Yeah, I do. <gasps> you should post that. You should do like ASMR painting or something or just painting because it's such a talent Thank when you. people can draw and like do art. I think I stopped doing that so much when I started YouTube because I like my creativity would go straight to YouTube. Mm. So like I don't have enough creativity to like paintings anymore. Right. Which sucks, but it's like as long as I'm getting my creativity out somehow, whether it's through fashion or YouTube or, like, making jokes, I don't care. Are you filming every single day? Like Not something? for my own channel, but, yeah. Someone's podcast. So, like, today I did yours and I have dropouts tonight. Yesterday I did David Alvarez's video. Oh my Tomorrow God. I have – Wait, David Alvarez sounds so familiar. It's because Oscar brought it up. Is that his name? Am I yeah. Correct? Yes. Oh, okay. okay, okay. He's, yeah. like, a Minecrafter or something. No, no, no. Okay. He, <laughs> D- David Alvarez, um, he makes, like, the Jubilee videos. Oh, but he makes right. it with like our friends. Oh, yeah. I think he he's, said one that my, he's one of my best friends. He's amazing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. That name sounds so familiar. Okay. Yeah. What'd you do? A Jubilee video? Uh, no, I did like this like video where it's it's like called The Menu. He created it. It's like a card game where it's like appetizer, lunch, dinner. Uh-huh. Um, and like each question gets harder. I did it with Zach. It's like a dinner. It's like, and then it's called a, The Menu. Wait, it's but cool. I'm confused. What's the game? Like you could. It's like cards and you pick them up and it's like the amount, it's like to build like bonds. Oh. It's cute. It's really cool. Okay, cute. So he does that for his own channel too? Yeah. Okay, because you did a Jubilee, right? No, that was his channel. The one where someone's like called you Tara and you're like, it's Tara. Yeah. Okay. With Jake, you did, yeah. I think. Okay. Yeah, that was his channel. Oh, yeah. he's so produced. Oh my God. Oh, they he's have like a so huge amazing. Yeah. Uh, huge, kind of like huge compared to like this. Right. But like it's, it's, it's like his close friends, his brother sometimes does it. It's like, it's pretty like him. Okay. Yeah, so- he's amazing. So you do a lot of collabs, which is like exhausting. You said you're kind of like done with podcasts now. You're like, I'm kind of over it. My eye. No, yeah. Uh, you, you, you want to get it? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Um, not that I'm. It depends who, right? Yeah. So like, I'm gonna try and be done just because I'm like so. God forbid I say this. I'm so tired of talking. For once in my life, but you were saying it's repetitive, which it kind of it's can repetitive. Be. It's like people want to know the same things, and it's like people already know yeah. all this about me. Like, I don't think you've asked me once anything I didn't ask me really so far. Besides like the taco tar taco thing, <laughs> which is like amazing. Like I know you're not gonna bring the same things up, or like. I, I try not to, but it is hard. I it's watch hard, them yeah. and it's like, yeah. Um, like there's only so much to me. Right. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. I think I'm done for now. I'm not going to say never. Like I'm not going to be like, I'm never doing another podcast. Like yeah. I'll do podcasts and stuff here and there. Like if Alex Earl ever asks me, I know she's like, we're in Is cahoots. that your big one right now? Like would that be your biggest? No, 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 no. I just, like, I just hot like, mess? Hot, hot mess. I like oh, your yeah. podcast. So I'd say yes to mm-hmm. her. Or like if it's like podcasts I like, I'll just say yes to. Just people you like yeah. and stuff I like people I like. Like I said yes to Trevi. She asked me to do her podcast. I said yes. Hers is so good. I want to try and get on there too. She was like texting me and I need to. I've loved so it's her like it for so long. I'm not like done. Okay. So it's like yeah. the people. But I do film every day and I'm starting to get really exhausted. Really? Because like I never want to say no and like hurt someone's feelings. So I've right. just been saying yes to everything, which is like I can't do that. I can't spread myself too yeah, thin. You don't want to get like burnt out either yeah. and just like but I'm I not just, doing like, what you love. Again, I'm like friends with everyone and I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings and, like, and you're saying friends no. With everybody. Yeah. So oh my god. And, and I want to be genuine. Podcast. I want to be yeah. genuine and be like, yes, of course, and like really stick to it. I never flake. I never no, yeah. you're so good with that. Yeah, to be excited. But yeah, you can get burnout sometimes too. Like I yeah. love talking to people. But yeah, I took like two weeks, like three weeks off. And I was like, oh, it's kind of like nice. I yeah. love doing interviews. But I was doing them like every single day. And then I was like, okay, this is getting a lot. Yeah. yeah. But again, it's like my content. I think doing other people's content is even a whole different thing. Yeah, and it's always like, say yes. Wow. It, but I used to genuinely like doing podcasts because I love talking about myself. But yeah, that it can get kind of like exhausting and stuff. I mean, just, I do too. Who doesn't? Who doesn't like to like talk about themselves and like yeah. – 
But I'm just like, how much more can I possibly say? I love it though. I think again, that adds to your blow up of it all because you are just in so many different crowds and everywhere. Yeah. And it's like, like to me, dropout is such a foreign thing. So like watching it now, like you brought me to that because I was like, oh, I would never have seen this show yeah. before. Something I like about dropouts is like even when we bring guests on, it's never like interview style. We just kind of joke around and like have a good time. Yeah. Just and it's like more personality based. It's like conversation versus yeah. like interview style, yeah. which like, I don't mind. Like, BFFs is more interview style, which I don't mind that. I, I enjoyed it. How did you like that? Was, were you intimidated? I was really nervous. That was I could not do it anymore. I did it once and I'm like, never again. Cause they just I think Dave especially just like doesn't care. No, so he just, doesn't. He'll yeah. just ask whatever. Yeah. Which is like cool. <laughs> yeah, that's the appeal of Teach it. Teach their own, yeah. But um it was definitely the most nervous. I told Josh, and like, Josh, I'm so nervous for this. He's like, Don't be. Yeah. Like it's the most nervous I've ever been for a podcast. Did you know Josh beforehand? Yeah. A little bit. Okay. He came on dropouts and like I went to his birthday party and he came to my party. And okay. Stuff like that. Did you know Brianna? Have you done no, hers? No, okay. never. Yeah, that was because they're all in different spots. Yeah, and I right? didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't either. I did. Well, I did it during quarantine. And I remember, and it was like Zoom, and I didn't know how to like Zoom. And I remember, like, I couldn't see anyone else but you did? Dave. I did yeah, see so you saw everybody. Yeah, I sat okay. next to Josh because Josh like lives pretty close. Right. Okay. That's like in his house or something like yeah. that. Yeah. He yeah. also looked nice in that TikTok you guys did. I was like, oh, hey, yeah. bougie. <laughs> you see these people's houses, and you're just like, damn. They're yeah. crushing it. They're killing it. Yeah. I love that the new influencers are so humble now. It used to be like house tours and now no one does that, which I yeah. guess is good. Well, for if privacy. I ever move, I'll do one. Yeah. Would not you? to be like not humble, but it's like I want to like put my furniture like the way I want yeah. and I feel like people would love it. Oh, I love it. I've done like three house tours. I think those were so fun I'm to just watch. I'm nosy. Me too. It's not about being humble. It's about. Right. I'll show you. I'll show you the furniture I have because it's like cool. Yeah. And like I would love to see a room tour of the room you're in because you have like a clothing rack behind you. I've done it. On the, it's old. I've done three room tours. This is in your parents' house. Yeah, it's still oh there. Oh my god, I didn't see it because I was like, that's the first thing I look for is like room tours. I'm like, it's I there. Know everything. It's there. The last you, one I did was like three, two years ago though. Okay, I wish people would bring that back, especially these new influencers who have like it's like Jake too buying this house and with like a pool. I, know. I was like, oh my god, I want to see it. You can come over. <laughs> I would love to because I went to the the house. It was like they were moving the day oh, I yeah. came over, yeah. and I was just like, oh man, I want to see that new you, house. You can come. Okay, I'll be I'm sure he'd let you. I love that you're inviting me over to his house. Dude, I walk in with no, I don't knock. Be like, Tara said I could come. So. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't knock. The other day, Jake wasn't there, and I'm like, I'm gonna go sit at your house for That's a second. Everything to like beat traffic. I just went and sat there. <laughs> so smart, yeah, because it's kind of like a halfway point if you're coming back from yeah. Hollywood. Have you ever done like a Persian food mukbang with them? No, but I should. I wonder if they would like it. Because if, if you ever want to do a Persian food mukbang, I'll do it. With you. I would love. I and used, if you want, yeah, my mom will cook it. <gasps> If you want, be there 100%. Like home cooked yeah. version. Yeah, I can oh bring it to you if you want. God. I'm not kidding. <gasps> Whatever you want. That's kind of everything. I will totally take you up on that. Like, the one thing I love is food. And that's one thing I can get behind, like, with a video. I was like, well, I got to eat. Yeah, might as well make it a video. <laughs> well, and it's also you, which is like the most iconic. It's like, it's just crazy. And it's so cool. I just like love how humble you are. I say that even when I first met you too, which is like, wow. I never want to come off like stuck up or anything because I know I'm not. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know. I wonder why some, but you know, some people, it's they just sassy. do. People think I'm like, right. Like, she's so spoiled. I saw one thing where she's like, she's so spoiled, rotten. And I'm like, I grew up so poor. I didn't know that either. But now your family is, does, yeah, yeah. They have a like, yeah, nice house okay. place. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. But like, growing up, I did not have money. And like, this was not a it's, thing for me. Isn't it crazy how people like assume that? I wonder yes, why. Also. That's what's so cool about you is you can be everything. That's why you should be an actress because you're like Vanessa Hudgens who can play like literally anything. Thank you. I would love to. If anyone wants me to act in their thing, I'll do it. Oh my gosh. I'll I say like that's everything. for you. Musicals, even if. Oh, <laughs> I'd love to do one. <laughs> what was the ones you did in school? Um, they were a lot of them were like middle school, and they were like my teacher would write them because we couldn't oh. get like the rights to them. What? Yeah, really? so it was like originals. It was fun. <laughs> You're not like I would think they would have like such a big production, and they could get like so many things. You usually made. can, but like the ones I did were all like originals. Okay, they were fun though. Oh my god! And would you get like a big part in them, or were we like chorus, like background? I was in between. Okay, I had like a pirate role one time. <gasps> yeah, an original. I love it. Is that why you like Johnny Depp because of Pirates of the Caribbean? What was the movie that Cry you like? Baby. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I, oh my God, you really are the like. Please, Mr. Jailer. Won't you let my Ooh, man go free? He don't belong in prison. Yeah. I love. So Ooh, good. Where's that girl so at? Camp. So, so camp. So camp. I love that you love Cry Baby. And you really are that girl. You know what I mean? Like, you, it's you. really funny because it's like, it's almost like a character where it's just like you're the cool girl that knows all these quirky things in like the best way, in like the realest way. Thank and you. it's like, that's so nice. Cry Baby was, oh, he was gorgeous in that one. So gorgeous with the little hair. Like, Right in his face. Yeah. Uh, the tear that runs down his eye. Uh, and he like And he's like, it. my mama never cared about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was the alphabet killer. A, yeah. B, C. <laughs> I just thought it was such. She goes, no, that's sexy. He's like, it's not sexy. Yeah, yeah my, oh my daddy. God. He's like, we're both orphans. <laughs> All right. And he's like, so you're going to kiss me with tongue. 
I, I used to have you. to skip to that part. I'm like, this is so secondhand embarrassment. That, oh, I love that part. That was me squeezing my legs on oh, that yes. part. I was like, ooh, okay. Yeah, no, I get it. No, anything Johnny Depp did, I love. What do you think of him now? Do you have judgment with the stuff that's like Again, gone I on? I don't get into it. So you like just the performance, yes. the artist. I try to just watch his acting. You don't look at I wish I should see like who they're dating, where they're at. And I did get caught up in the trial a little bit. And yeah. it made me sad because he was so private for so long. And then he became like kind of that's what you knew him for. And it's kind of like this like – I think it's over now. I don't know what happened. Again, I don't know. I try not to like go into that because I have so much going on in my own life. I don't need anyone else's drama. Yeah. It stresses me out. I guess I was doing nothing at the time. I was like pregnant and like not making videos. And I was like, oh, this is all I got going on. <laughs> it's really for like the board housewives. I think those dramas of it all. Or TikTok people who have like nothing going on in their life. I try Which to like – Like with gossip like that, I try to just like look at the highlights on TikTok. For like right. the Oscars, I don't watch the Oscars. I just watch the highlights. Watched your <laughs> podcast. Yeah, I kind of watch the highlights. My podcast is like watching the highlights too. And I'm like, I try to watch it, but yeah. it gets to be like a lot too boring. Yeah. And I just like the drama of people's lives because it's like makes me feel less drama about mine. But Johnny Depp was one I was like, God, I really love. Yeah. I haven't seen him lately though. I don't know. Me neither. Like, Where's he at? Do we know? a band called like Vampire. Oh, I've heard of that actually. Yeah, with like Alice Cooper or something. That's cool. That's it's, really cool. I should look into that. I feel like they play That's on something. Sunset. I feel like they're like <gasps> I'm at always the on Roxy. Sunset. Yeah, Do I'm always th- at the Rainbow. Oh yeah, is that still open? Yeah, Rainbow Room. Viper Love Room's it. open. Yeah, Viper ever go there? Because that was Johnny's, right? Yeah, I've been there. I don't go there all the time. I go to the Rainbow quite often. I feel like is it old people or young people? It's a mix. There's like a lot of old people there. Okay, but also I've seen like young people like in like the rock scene in LA go there a lot too. Okay, so it's still like this is like we were talking about this on how to see the Barney's Beanery of it all. Yeah, I, I was go like, there this all the time used to too. be so old people. Like I went. No, like, it's it's you can't it's even all young. walk in. It's like the new Saddle Ranch. Yeah, because there's two. There's Burbank and there's Hollywood, but the hot one is San Monica. Oh, yeah, yeah. And everyone goes there. It's so funny. Yeah. And what if you run into someone? I guess there's no drama. Is there drama in the influencer world? There anymore? is. Is there? Is I think no one like, talks about no it. talks about it. That's good. That's so it's like not as messy. It used to be so, so much messy. like yeah, like the beauty community yeah. drama where they oh, call people out. So toxic. And then if you saw them, it was like, oh, don't talk to them. Yeah, I know. Like <laughs> even at my party, so many people probably didn't like each other. I was okay. So let me. Oh, that's what I want to know about the one million party. Okay, so it wasn't just like a last minute thing. No. It was like you planned. This. I've been planning this okay. since the day I was born. <laughs> I feel like I was waiting for this time. I never thought I'd hit a million this quickly, and I'm so grateful for it. I planned it like. I want to say like a month before I hit a mill, I knew that it was coming. Mm-hmm. I felt it. So I was like, I'm going to like get a venue and I'm going to pick a day. And my dad is so sweet. He did like the analytics of it. He's like, you're going to hit a mill between February 14th and February 18th. And I hit it on February 18th, ah. which is actually what would have been Jake and I's five-year anniversary. So maybe oh. somehow that day just means a lot to me. I hit it that day and I and my party was already planned for March 6th. So we gave ourselves some leeway just mm-hmm. in case. And yeah. So you did the March 6th party. And yeah. And I throw a big birthday party every year too. Okay. So your birthday's year. August or July? July 31st. Last day July, of July 31st. Yeah. And what do you do normally for that? Because it's a summer birthday. So is it like a nighttime club thing? Yeah. Or? I always do like a big, I did like a house party one time, like a mansion house party. And then I did like, I've done two clubs. Oh, I didn't know this about you. Oh yeah. If you go on my YouTube channel, like it's my favorite videos I've posted. It's just like my party month. You hire a videographer to film all same this? Same one all the time. Yeah. I love it so much. Okay. And so for the 1 million party, was there a theme? Nope. I said, just like, come hot, get trashy. I love that. And it's a party bus. And so do you ever think about people who don't like each other? Like you said, there's people that don't like each other. Like you feel like, oh, man, they don't like each other. No, they have figured it out. Yeah. They usually just come and then just avoid each other, I'm guessing. Okay. Okay, so that's cool. Yeah. So there's never any, like, drama or anything. No, because I think they'd get mad. that they're. I think they know I'd get mad. It's like, don't bring that here. Yeah. Just have fun. I just want people to have a good time. Yeah, I feel like that's why I would never be invited to a party or shouldn't go to a party. I invited you. Right. Oh, that's true. I guess I. <laughs> but I knew you wouldn't come. I just wanted to let you know you were invited. I love, and that's what I love the most. I love to say I would never expect you to come. I was first of all, I would love to. It's really just anxiety and security. And I get it. All it's of not it. for everyone. Yeah, but it looks so fun, and I have FOMO all the time. Just in general, like I just wish I could have been that person. Even at twenty three, I wish I could have been that person that like went out like to VidCon because you were a VidCon girly. Yeah. And so we go to the parties and the meet and greets. Or just I, the main greets. I think I went to like the last good VidCon, which was 2019. And I did go to like the parties and like stuff like that. Did you go to TanaCon? No. Did you have any desire to? Were you like, this sounds no. like. I, I think remember, I was a little too old. But it was 2019. 2019. Was it? Well, I was already a creator. Am I not? To, is, oh, 2018. Oh, oh, I see. So yeah. you're not. I remember it was like such a big deal. This is when I was like in the vlog squad and everyone in the vlog squad was remember. excited. Everyone's like, oh, we're going to go. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know. And I didn't did know Did you Tana know that worked TanaCon? Doing what? Like, like, um, like labor, like he worked it, like mm-hmm. like doing things, like just like helping Wait, when out. When did he become an influencer? I don't know. I should ask not him. then, not then he was. No, I guess not. No. He just always talks about it. He's like, Tanya needs to come on the podcast because I work Tanacon. 
Oh my god, that's, yeah, she hasn't been on. Trap no, Box. she's gone. I think. I think we've talked about it, but so he kind of came out of nowhere too. I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know that much about him, but yeah. you guys, like, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. And how did and how'd you guys meet again? We met at Sam party? and Colby's 10 million subscriber party. They have 10 million subscribers? I think so, yeah. Holy cow. I how do those people get so – I'm so jealous in every single one. How? That's crazy. I need to watch these people more. I yeah. Need to, but again, it's like – some. it's like – I always say his name wrong. I say Larry, but it's not. I mean, he says Larry, like Le online, Ray, but Larry, yeah. Larry. He was great. I met him at – he lives out here. He met him at a Target, and he was like literally so nice to us. Um, He was parked right next to us. Yeah, he lives out here. Yeah, he was like really, really nice. But then I went to his page too, and I was like, he gets like a million views. I'm yeah. Like, There's no like secret to this. It's really just who the people like. You know yeah. what I mean? Because it's very simple videos yeah. in the best way. And I'm like, God, people just love these people. Yeah. It's an aura. I think it's an energy thing people are drawn to. Because sometimes you see like an icky what person. Nice and you're like, it's true because it's like there's really no – other explanation and it's not there's gorgeous people everywhere you know so it's not even just like oh they're hot people or yeah. whatever or they're nice people it's like it's like a yeah i don't know just the energy of it all i love it so much so the million party yeah were you like okay so th- what happens there so like and i've never been to clubs either so what do you okay. do you just so go I rent and, it out okay where did can you say where or no you don't yeah it was at kiss kiss bang bang Ooh, la- i don't even know what that is it's cool. cool you go through like an atm it's like a speakeasy. Ooh. And it's all like Disney. Did you watch? I'm sure you didn't. But like if you watch my video, I put it out already. No, it's like, I it's like a three it. minute video and it's like the montage. Oh, watch it for sure. Yeah. I love it. Okay. So because there's another one too where you go through like a fridge, right? Yeah. That's Davy Wayne's. Okay. I've never yeah, been no. there either. I just, I always want to go. Okay. So yeah. you go through an ATM. Yeah. And I like rented it out. It's like a club vibe, club bar. And I mean, it was just fun. I just send out an invite. and So what do you do? But what do you do? Okay. Because again, I never knew a club. So you go in and you're like. Okay, can I get a drink? And then our people yeah, just... Yeah, so I had open bar for, like, the first few hours. Oh, my God. Bougie. Thank you. I, I just want it. people to have a good time. Yeah, yeah. So, like, and once people are kind of, like, you know, having a good time, then they start paying for drinks. Okay, got it, got yeah. it. So, open bar. Open bar. I get, like, the same DJ every time because he listens to me and he plays, like, Strictly Y2K. Love that so yeah. much. Like, what's the what's the jams playing? I have a whole, like, must-play playlist. Do you want me to, like, read some off? Yes, because I what I think Y2K, I think, like, Backstreet Boys and, like, Aaron Carter. No, like... Okay. <laughs> Like, not that. Why do you say? Limp Biscuit. I don't know. I'm trying to think. There was some. I mean, there's like one Limp Biscuit song that played, but. Are you a My Chemical Romance fan? She is. You are? More than anything in the world. She loves Broadway. I love. Oh, me too. He's my dream guest. That's why I love Johnny so much. He knows every single MCR song. It's Here it amazing. is. Must plays for party. Okay. There is Bad Girls, MIA, Get Busy, Sean Paul, Hung Up, Madonna, Bad Romance, Lady Gaga, Like a G6, oh. I'm a B. Kesha, Cannibal. It's like a little bit more mid. Fergalicious, Fergie, Girlfriend, Avril Lavigne. Wow. When I grow up, the Pussycat Dolls, My Humps, Black Eyed Peas, Rich Girl, Gwen Stefani, mm-hmm. I'm a Slave for You, Britney Spears, Kiss Me Through the Phone, Soldier Boy, My Band, D12, Stars Are Blind, Paris oh, Hilton. My Band. Ooh, Stars Are Blind, Iconic. Yeah. A Millie, Lil Wayne, because a million, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Were you, you at know? the million party? I was. Oh my, are you a party person? And that's what a lot of people say. I have a lot of like my introverted friends. Like you'll see online, they'll be like, I only go out for Atari every party. One day I will. Maybe after the baby, if I get like, cute, after my Ozempic, maybe I'll go to the party. Ozempic. <laughs> I, can, I don't even have anything to wear now when I'd go out. I'm like, I don't even know what I'd wear. Come but with that. <laughs> just come with the baby bump. Be like, here I am. You could have came. I told you. I remember like the <sighs> day, I'm like, I need to tell Trisha she's like more than invited. I knew you wouldn't come. But it's like, I wanted you to know that like, Please, like, you were more than welcome to come. That was so nice. And I feel like so – I was like, oh, my God, that feels so good. Honestly, it felt so good. And I got to find the video because I was, like, so excited to see it. It's going to be in your FaceTime things, I think. You know when you live, like, a FaceTime voicemail? Where does it go? Not to your text messages because I was, like, wanting to look for it. And I was like, oh, no, let me not. I sounded crazy in it, too, because I was, like, getting ready. I'm like, I just want you to know you're invited, like, no matter what. Ah, because I saw it, I think, on your TikTok and I commented. I was like, oh, my God, my jaw, like, jaw dropped. It was, like, so everything. And then how do you talk to everybody? Or you don't. Right. I don't. I, I try to. Right. I tried to stay sober for like the first hour. <laughs> oh, I Tr- see. Keyword tried. Right. And I went to like, I tried to like say hello at least to everyone, like a wedding. Yeah. But for like I a second. can't. I can't. I, I end up like not remembering much. And Do people I, bring gifts? No. Oh, okay. And that's okay. <laughs> I had a few people bring me like flowers and stuff. They should because if you're paying for open no, it's bar, okay. it's like I, a wedding. I just want people to have fun. I throw okay. parties for people to have fun. Okay. Because I love parties. But you don't, okay. And who would you say you hang out with the most? Do you have like someone that's like by your side the whole time? I'm running around like a psycho. By yourself? Yeah, with the person who's videotaping me. You'll see, if you watch the video, you'll see I'm with every group. Like I'm running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Oh my God. At, at one point I took my shoes off and there's like glass in my foot. Wow. Yeah. Wait, look, look at my knees. They're like all so banged up from oh the party. I fell like Wait, so how? many times. Oh, you fell. I fell. I was like dancing <laughs> on tables and like I fell off the table. Oh my God, you're so the Paris Hilton of this generation. <sighs> you, you really are. That is don't crazy. Don't even say that to me. I will literally like. <laughs> 
that's gonna get to that's my head. That's crazy. Yeah, but you are because that's so that's so that vibe, and I love that Thank about you. you. Oh my gosh! So the one million party. That's yeah. crazy though. Like again, the I think you'll hit like ten million probably by the end of the year. No. Oh, dude. for sure. What is your on TikTok? How many you have? TikTok, I'm at six point five. Which is crazy yeah, because in your January TikTok's I had like one point five. Yeah, but you get like 20 million views on every, like 15 million views on all your TikToks. I don't understand. I'm so thankful. Thank you so much. I just yeah. like don't get it. That's, but that's what, that's cool. Your engagement's so high and it's like really amazing. Thank you. Do you ever, are you ever like concerned though? Are you like, oh man, it's like now people just want me for my followers, for my views? No, because I have really good friends that um, I know that I've been friends with before that. Mm -hmm. So you no new friends then? That's like Drake's song. No new friends. Is no it? New I don't friends. know. Is that Drake? <laughs> I know nothing about Drake. Oh. Zero. I don't know. Um, I mean, I love no, it. I'll I love new friends. I think I can have a pretty good gauge on people, like read people pretty well. And like if they want to be friends for me, then they want to be friends with, for me. But I definitely feel like I'm a little bit more weary mm. and more careful. Would you be friends with like fans? Like Hannah always talks about how she's always friends with like fans. Like, yeah, I have like fans I'm like pretty close to because they've been with me since the beginning. Yeah. I'll like message them and stuff. And I'm like, thank you so much here and there. I'll be like, what's up? How are you? How's your life? Like, how's your grandma? Okay, so yeah. you're like down There's a to couple I know that like, yeah. yeah. I like it too. I like it too. I think it's good. But then sometimes I've, I've been both where I become friendly with them and then sometimes they like turn because you're like not giving them enough. You know what I mean? Oh. I've had people I was like friendly with and then like, you know, they come to California if I didn't have the time or whatever, then they get like, you know, oh. it turns no, around. No, no. I think, you know. I just don't be friends with anyone and it's just much easier that way. <laughs> just, like, either be, either people, be friends like, with everyone or no one. Yeah, because, well, and you're friends with everyone. So it's just kind of like, how do you say no? Like if a random person came up to you like, oh my God, Tariyami, I love you. Let's go hang out tomorrow. Are you like down? No, because I'm scared. Right. The parano is it paranoia or is it more just like anxiety? Paranoia. Yeah. Yeah. And unrealistic sometimes. Yeah, a little bit. I think like if you lived alone, that's if how I, I felt. If I like know someone through someone, of course I'd hang out with them. But it's like I, you Not know. Not just a random. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, are you on the dating apps? No, you wouldn't do that either. I d downloaded Hinge for like a video and I kept it for a little bit mm -hmm. and like kind of swiped. Stupid. Raya won't let me in. What? I'm not on Raya. Why? I've been getting like recommended from friends and they just won't let me in. And I don't even want to go to like date around. I want to go to see who's on there. Oh I'm, my. I'm nosy as f and Raya, With the referral, Raya, you can't get in. Raya won't let me in. I'll say it straight to camera. Raya will not let me in. Oh, I've gotten so many no. references. Don't know why. Oh, that's crazy. I was waitlisted on Raya, but I didn't know people I've been like waitlisted for like months. Oh, no. I would love to see people. I heard it's like not as cool as it used yeah. to be. I heard it was like back in the day they did have like. I just want to get on it to get on it. To see, who's to see what it. it's about. To be like, yeah, I had Raya. Oh, man. So you wouldn't like just go and message people. Do you DM? Do you slide into people's DMs? I have. Does it work? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I wish, so. I feel like I, when I was single, like last time I was single in 2019, I used to sign in DMs and like no one ever hit me back. <laughs> and it was what? so sad. Like, do you go to the top requests in your DMs? I do. See? Sometimes they get lost though. I will say that. The top requests? Ones? Yeah. They'll get like mixed up. Oh, Instagram's really? not perfect, right? So it's like, yeah. Oh, any, well, I guess you can't say. Could you tell me anybody and I could bleep it? Like, that's like your biggest one that's like, oh my, even if you didn't like date him. Was Drake in your DMs ever? No. I feel like he's in everyone's DM. Not in a bad way, but just like I feel like someone No, I don't goes, think I'm his type. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what his type is. I don't, I don't know either. I just don't think I'm his type. What about The weekend? Has he ever DM'd you? No, I know you love The weekend. I love The weekend. Uh, no. No one. I've had like girls in my DMs that are like really famous, but not in like a flirty way. I think just to be like, hello. To be you? your friend. Isn't that crazy though? Yeah. That's so weird. So surreal, I would think, to have like these girls that want to just like be your friend. Yeah. I love it. I love making new friends. Yeah. And celebrity girls. Celebrity girls, yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to be friends with Amanda Bynes. I DM her too. She lives here. She lives around here. Really? I know she does because she goes to that mall a lot. See her on TikTok. I'm always like, hey girl. Like, what's up? I know. I watch the pod. <laughs> she's so I'm good. caught up. Okay, so who's your ultimate girlfriend that you would want to be best? Besides Paris Ooh. again. Are you into like Jenna Ortega or anybody like that? I think Jenna Ortega is super talented, yeah. I feel like that's also your kind of vibe. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I have like a dream BFF, but okay. like- Oh, Paris doesn't have that show. Remember BFFs? You could be her best friend. Yes. Oh my god. Did you ever watch it? No. Oh, it's so good. The let me think. A dream BFF. A dream best friend. Oof. I don't know. There's I no think girl. I have such great friends that I don't think to. You don't want to slide into any girls' DMs. I would. Yeah. Yeah. To be their friend. You'd be like, hey, you're yeah. cool. What are the qualifications to be your bestie? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Just kind, honest, caring. Oh, that's pretty simple. Yeah. Straightforward. Yeah, that's it. No fakeness. No fakeness. Is there any signs like astrologically that you don't want to be friends with? No, I don't really like believe in into it. that. I don't, it's not that I don't believe it. I think they're fun to read, but I don't really care. Are you like spiritual? No. No, a little bit. I'm more spiritual than I am like not religious. Like yeah. I'm not really like, 
Yeah, I don't really think that deeply. Yeah. Because if I do, I'll spiral. Oh, you think it's bad if you thought too deep. Yeah. So you're not like a manifester where you're like, I can make anything No, possible. I like manifesting. I'll sit okay, there and I'll okay. be like, anything's possible. Me and like my friend Nas will sit there and just like, yeah. be like writing things over and over again and like manifesting things. But like, I believe it's so real. I feel like it's so real. What? Are you delusional? Yeah. Me we're, too. We're, me and her are both a little delusional. I love being delusional. I think that's the way you got to be. I agree. Just to be like, this is my wildest dream. Dude, I used to sit there in front of my parents and be like, I'm going to be a YouTuber. And they're like, okay. And they're like, were they supportive? Eh. What's your wildest delusion? I want to hear. I love wild delusions. I think wild I'm going to be on the delusion. idol season two with the weekend, even though it's canceled. I don't think that's a delusion. I think I it's think canceled it. and I think it's not out, but I, oh. maybe I'm, I'm hoping it comes back. A delusion I have. I think Austin Butler will be here on this pink chair. That's not a delusion. That's possible. <laughs> Do not say that. Don't say it's a delusion. I think that's my thing. You know what? Nothing's a delusion. Everything's <laughs> real if you want it to be. That's what I'm saying. Though. I don't think delusion is bad because I feel like delusion is what gets you places. I agree. Yeah. Okay. So who's, okay. What's anything is possible biggest, but people would call delusion for you. Like, girl, you're delusional. Others would laugh at you, but like, watch me. Oh, man. It's giving Debbie Ryan from Ch- Disney Channel. I was like, I want to make history. I want to make history. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, oh, having my own reality TV show would be fun. Oh, my God. That, I feel like that's so in reach. It's like the most attainable thing for you. That's crazy. Very what style? Like like MTV, Y2K. Like party. real world. Okay. I'm trying to think. Like Because there was the Osbournes on MTV. There was the real world, the newlyweds. Like I'm trying to think your vibe. Yeah, I don't know. Girls Next Door, Anna Nicole. Girls Next Door is cool. Um. I don't know. Party I want it to just vibes. be my own, like, 16. What was the one? Um, Sweet 16. Yeah. I feel like when you talk about your parties and, like, your dad, like, tracking your eight, your million, I'm like, oh, that feel, gives me Sweet 16 vibes. Yeah, except my parents had nothing to do with my party. They didn't even come. Oh, really? Is that even your mom? No, they didn't come. My mom used to come to all my – because I used to throw birthday parties for myself because, like, I was, like, I had no friends. They came to like, my birthday this year, but they didn't come to my um, – Oh, okay. It's your one yeah. million? Did you get a party bus? Is that what you did? Like, I took limo? a limo with my girlfriends. I love that you did limos. Limos are so old school, and I feel yeah. like no one it was like takes a little them white Hummer limo. You have to watch the video, Trish. I know. I can't believe I haven't seen it because I really was like watching it. everything. Oh, you have to. It came out yesterday. You have to watch oh, it. Yes, it's like I three minutes it. long. It's so oh easy. Oh my god, I love a highlights. I love a little party vlog. Oh, it's so fun. Oh my god, you and, have to watch it. And everyone's down to be on camera that comes to the party. I hope so. They know I film yeah. them. They know I do. At yeah, this yeah. Because sometimes influencers are so funny. They film everything, but like sometimes, like I don't want to be filmed tonight, and I'm just like, you're an influencer. Like, how are you mm. not expected to be? Yeah, I just expect TikToks anywhere I go. I'm like, okay, someone's gonna want to do a TikTok, you know? Yeah. Sometimes they don't. I'm cool but. with it every, always, but I understand if people don't want to. But Really? I was really careful in who I put in. I was like, okay, if I know this person's going to say something, I just take them out. Right. And then you're just like, I don't want any yeah. drama. You're not drama based. No, 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 no. I yeah. never want problems with anyone. That's a good way to be. I feel like in general. <laughs> no, it is. And yeah. I'm like really, really, really trying to be that way. I really, really am because it gives you anxiety. If you already have yeah. a little anxiety, and I never had anxiety, but like causing beef with people that I'm not meant to have beef with, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I just apologize that all the time. Are you yeah. an apologizer? Yeah. You when will. I ask someone to do something, I'm like, I'm sorry, can you get me that? Or like, I'm sorry, can you pass me a water? Oh, yeah. I say sorry all the time. Me too. I'm like, I'm anything. sorry. Yeah, so yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, I Would you consider yourself a people pleaser? Yeah. I yeah. used to be a pushover, but now I don't care. Okay. But I still think I'm a people pleaser. Really? Like, because yeah, you just I say yes wanna, to everything. Yeah, I never want to like, make anyone upset or anything like that. Mm. And then when like, what's the last thing you said no to? I didn't say no, but I might cancel tomorrow because I'm not feeling the best. I was supposed to go to the Bad Bunny concert. In a suite. I was supposed to wait. I know. I oh, saw. Okay. Is it the same? Not Did, the same suite. Okay. But I might not is, go because I need I need one day. I need one day break. I might go. You'll see me on my story tomorrow. I'll be like, Bad Bunny. <laughs> I kind of live. Do you love Bad Bunny? No. <laughs> just, I just my go. friend Neza does and I told her I'd, I'd take her. Uh, okay. Yeah. But the suites, okay, no shade, whatever. But aren't the suites kind of like nosebleed? They're kind of far, right? Yeah, they're far. I don't know. I, I'd, or it's I'd, a party, I guess. Yeah, it's like a party vibe. I don't know. I... That's like the last thing I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to go because I just like need a day to myself, which I've never said. Like I'm always go, go, go. Yeah. Like, I'm going to New York next week. Um, <gasps> For what? Are you going on a TV show? If I'm not, I don't know if I'm allowed to say. Well, when will this come out? A couple weeks. So you can edit it if it don't. I um, promise it'll come I'm out like April. I'm doing Mark Jacobs campaign. Oh my God. I you have such big things. There's so many things. You have to come back because there's like two big things that we can't talk about because you don't know. know if you can talk about it. But I'm so – that's so cool. Thank you. And this is through an agency that you have? Yes, through my manager. Oh, my god. She's the best. Her name is Jenna. Thank God. Is she I with a her. big company or she's, she's like with, independent? She's uh, with Tana's old manager, Jordan Rona. Oh, uh, It's okay. called We Are Verified. I get paid from them still. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, they send me stuff. I don't know what they do. They did something, but they send me money for yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so someone under him, Jenna, has been my manager since oh. four years ago. God, that's Jenna was, that her, was that her assistant at yes. one point? Yes. She's amazing. Okay. She's I was my, with Jordan she's my for manager. a minute. Yeah, she's yeah. my manager. Cute. 
Oh, yeah. okay. Is he still a manager? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, I know I I don't know anything. I wrote, we don't have no bad blood or anything like that. But I was like, oh, cool. I love that. Yeah. And obviously, she's crushing it. Yeah, she's getting she's all amazing. these things. How did you yeah. guys get linked up? I got arrested at Playlist Live, and she saw she bailed you out. I didn't get I didn't get but like you taken a, in. Oh, were you like cuffed? I was? Yeah. And mugshot? There's no mugshot. No. There is something. That looks like a mugshot online of you. It was a fake one. It was, uh, I did like a fake, I got arrested video for April Fool's Day and I pranked my manager. Oh my God. I was like, she was like, again? And yeah, she's like, well, I believe it because it yeah. happened once. So what happened at Playlist Live? I was underage drinking. And you didn't get actually arrested? Well, no, they- I got out of it. I, I don't want to like get anyone in trouble, but someone cut me out of the zip tie. Cut you out of a zip tie? What does that mean? While the wasn't looking. I was zip tied because there were so many underage people getting arrested. You can get arrested for that? I didn't even know. It was Florida. So it was um, like, well, Florida just don't even I know go there. A fake ID. Oh. I don't condone this behavior. No, Florida- I can't help that I'm this way. But you know what? That's a, it's a good lesson for people. Yeah. Because honestly, I didn't know that was. Yeah, I got full blown zip tied. Oh my god, it's like a. Don't they do that to pigs? They zip tie them. Right. That seems a little inhumane. Yeah. Oh my god, Florida's wild. Yeah, I got when zip tied. I- That's why I got arrested. Were you? Oh, did it hurt? I don't know. I was drunk. Oh, that's good. So you kind of don't remember it. I guess that's a yeah. good thing. I when I went on tour, the one place I want to go is Florida. I just feel like it's cursed down there. I feel like it's, it's kind of crazy, kind of wild. I do love Miami, but it's kind of crazy. Really, I've never been. Miami's like the perfect between like, like I feel like it's like Hawaii during the day and like Vegas at night. That's what it feels like. Ooh, sounds kind of like a lot. Like you have to go out in Miami to enjoy it. You have it. to, yeah. Tana's trying to get me to go to Miami, and I'm just like, I don't know if that's my vibe. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you gotta chill. Yeah. I want to be this person so bad. Again, even when I was young, I wasn't this person, but I want to be so bad. Have you met any of your YouTube idols that you were disappointed by? You don't have to say their names, but you're like, oh man, I kind of thought they were going to be cooler. No. None. No. You haven't met, have you met like Shane or? I met Shane when I was young. Like a meet and greet? No, it was at the O12 Forever party. Wow. I don't know how I got in, but I got in. There was no fans allowed, but I got in. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. People who are in O12 know this now, but I have a picture with him. Wow. Yeah, but that's the only time I ever met him. Were you like, okay, this is the Shane I know from the videos? I mean, I wasn't supposed to be there, so I'm glad he even just took a picture with me. Right. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Did you know all the O2L people? Personally at the time? Yeah. No. How about now? Yes. Now I know every single one. Yes. I wouldn't say friends, but I know every single one. I've talked to them and I have their numbers. Kian, JC, Trevi. Who are they? Kian, oh. JC, Trevi, Connor, Ricky. <gasps> Where's Ricky? I love Ricky. He's the only Ricky one. Ricky streams. Oh my yeah. God. So he's still influencing. Yeah, he's he's still a streamer. I love because so I remember for a while he was editing. He was like editing videos for people. That was a while ago. I liked Ricky a lot. Yeah. And he's still doing he used to do music videos with the same director I did and would pay like hundreds of thousands of dollars to these music videos. And Iconic. I was like, how are you getting this much money? It's like crazy. I guess they made a lot. Remember they rented a house for like Thirty thousand dollars a month yeah. or something, and I was like, I wasn't their friend at the time because I was young. But you were yes. just a fan, I was a fan. Quickly, oh, wow, it changed. fan become friends. Yeah, I love. That's like the ultimate again fanfic is like yeah. becoming friends with the people yeah. you idolize, and they didn't disappoint you, not at all. Because sometimes they say, "Don't be yeah. friends with your people you idolize." Yeah. yeah, I don't think I've met someone that like I was like, "Oh man, they're they're mean." Did you go to their tour? No, I went to a meetup like okay. when I was younger. So you yeah. never saw them perform. No. Remember this song they had? Yeah, with Charlie Puth sang it. Yeah. Do you know how many times I've talked about this? This is like, for you me, have? it's like, yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I love yeah. it. I feel like no one talks about it anymore. Oh, I talk well, about it. With the Charlie Puth air. Yeah, <laughs> that's so crazy. Their song was kind of everything. And they're like, I remember they each had something. And oh, I yeah, feel it's, it's Connor, something, Sam, Trevi, Moran, check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> It's I like, and JC it. is, and he goes, tonight we're gonna give yeah. them hell. Everybody screaming, O2L. Like, ooh. ooh. Yes. Ooh. O2L. Kind of lived. I always thought, I'm like, are they a band? Because it was obviously, no. They're just, they were just they're like, just like they were like boys. the first content house ever in LA. Wow. And they're like all like 30 now. It's like so crazy. I always think of them as so young too. And I was like, oh my God, they're like having kids and getting married. I mean, married. Like 25, 26, I think. Yeah, she's well, she youngest. was always the youngest, yeah. yeah, so which is, like, crazy. And she's, like, still killing it, too, with yeah. the new podcast. I just love how everyone – podcast really is this new vibe, and yeah. I think it's, like, such a cool thing that everyone does. And you do so good at it. I feel like you're a host of so many, but I guess I just see one. I'm so just many. on everything. You're just on the dro- – yeah. But you host officially the dropouts. Yes, out. I okay, do. Cool. Co-host. Yay. Co-host, right. Yes. So it's the two boys and you. Yes. Do you ever get sick of boys because you're just around so many? Are you just like, oh, I'm over this, like, testosterone? Um – Sometimes. Would you consider yourself like a tomboy or girly girl or both? I think I'm a little bit of both. Because you love Paris. You I love, love Paris. Y2K and like Britney Spears. But it's like then you're also just like yeah, down for one of the boys yeah. too. I'm down for anything. Yeah. Any kind of friend. I don't care what, I don't yeah. care what you are. 
Because they're my friend. I'm in. Just no frat boys, bros, frat bros. I'll do a frat bro here and there. <laughs> I mean, they me over, but neighbors. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Have you been to like a fraternity party? Yeah, kinda. It's not your vibe. I want to go to the party. I would love to go to like a. Not I want to actually. But. You know what's so funny? I want to do a video where it's like I went to a fraternity. Like I became a frat bro for a day, and like I want them to like I want like chug beer and like become That'd a be frat cool. brother. That'd yeah, be any really fraternities cool. want to hit me up. And let me do it for a video. Let me know. How old are fraternity people? I think between like, like the older ones are like 21, 22. Oh my God. What age do people go to college? 18 to like 22, <gasps> right? 21, 22. People go to college at 22 years old. So you're like over college age now. I think so. I, was, I think I'm like was university like, age. You would go to college right now, I would feel. Like university, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I so know, you can still be there. Okay, so you could like pledge a fraternity or sorority yeah, or something like that. I think so. That would be my ultimate dream. Just to try it again. I never did it, but I think that would have been so fun. Like the House Bunny? Yeah. Love that movie. Oh, yeah. Those movies to me, like Legally Blonde House Bunny, those oh, are like those the most are, iconic yeah. things. I don't even want to talk about that with you. We could sit here for hours. Oh, my God. I wanted to be all of them. Like yeah. Anna Ferris, Elle Woods. That's why Paris Hilton was like the real life Elle Woods when you said she inspires so many people to just be herself. That was Elle Woods to me. I was like, I yeah. want to be her so bad. And Anna Faris and the House Bunny is kind of iconic. iconic and everything. All those girls were. They're like Catherine McPhee and Emma Stone. And I was yeah, like. so good. And then when they turned like hot and they're like blonde oh, they're extensions. Like, <laughs> with the butterfly tops. Oh, I love it. No, that was always my dream. Those kind of movies. I was like, oh man, they're so like good. living my like dream life. I still would love it. I wish Playboy was still around. If Playboy was still around because you like Playboy, would you do it? Because that's not, to me, that's yeah. not like sex work. That's like art. Yeah. Interesting. I love it. Like I wish cover. it would. Yeah. Like, because they still have it, but yeah. it's not the same. I've talked to them. Really? But they don't do nudity anymore. They do. Really? Yeah, I think they have a platform for it. What about magazines? Oh, right. They don't do magazines anymore, I don't think. But if they ever brought those back, I would totally do it. I feel like Playboy. Like, I have like a Playboy bunny right here. Oh, like, did on you have necklace. one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because last time I saw you, you had like a Playboy bunny top. Yeah. I love the era of it all so much. And if they did magazines again, where, you know, and I when I say like I like the girls naked, I love like the beauty of it because it's just it's such art. a piece. They do yeah. it in like an artistic way. Oh, my God. Then you look back at I that collect, body. I collect old Playboy magazines. Me too. I have upstairs where my tavern is. The whole back wall is Playboys. Yeah. It's all like Pam and Anna and just yeah, amazing. all the fav- – oh, God, I loved it. But you were – I guess you missed that era because I was like you never went to the Playboy I mansion. I young. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I'm going to have been 18. I went towards the end, but it wasn't like the same as it used to be where you could just see everybody yeah. and everything. But the girls were so glamorous. It was just such a cool vibe, the whole thing. I don't know. Hugh Hefner seems a little bit like a jerk, like a snake now when I think about it. But I wanted to be his girlfriend more than anything. Really? <laughs> that was like my goal. You're so Would funny. you have? I don't think so. No. Maybe maybe if you convinced me. Yeah. To I be like, know. it's a party. It's a good time. Maybe like. When, I feel like, like I'd get a little creeped out. Yeah. It is interesting to hear their stories, like yeah. some of the girls and stuff like that. Like, especially like Kendra was like really young and stuff like that. But I don't know. I guess you see someone with like eyes and you're just like, oh, well, you know, they're a celebrity, the yeah. celebrity life of it all. But. Oh my God. Yeah. I feel like I, there's no, thank God, there's no like current day Hugh Hefner. I'm like trying to think. Dan Bilzerian. Ooh. Is he, I forgot about him too. God. What's he do? Is he like streaming? I don't know what he does. Have you met him? I've been to one of his parties. It was a long time ago. Oh my god! It's like 2018. Is he still always around? Like all the girls? I don't know. It was just you something that came to mind. Oh okay, but that that's a good. I wish one. I knew. I kind of forgot about him too. Not in a bad way because I'm just like not okay up with it. But that's. But at least he was, from what I remember, attractive. Right? Like he's yeah, kind he's of, a good looking guy. He's not like an yeah. old no creeper or anything like no. that. And I feel like his sons didn't take over. Yeah, Playboy was so iconic. I don't know. What do you think will be like? What people will look back in 20 years and be like, oh man, the 2020s. What do you think they'll like remember from this era? Social media. Right? You think it'll change in 20 years where they like look back and be like, wow, remember? It's like MySpace. Oh my God, remember podcasts? <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to say. It's so oversaturated nowadays. It's hard to say what's going to stick out. Like what will stand out and what will be know. around. Like fashion. Because fashion just changes so much. I like, think everyone has the their fashion? own personal style, which I appreciate. Yeah, which is cool. Not me. I just copy everyone. Anyone who comes on my love podcast, I'm like, what do I they wear? I love dark hair on you, by the way. Thank you. I feel very, everyone did say, they're like, you look like Tari. I mean, I was like, that was the, well, Oh my God. And most like, you look like Vanessa. Where's Hodgson, your eyebrow like, piercing? Yeah. <gasps> I, I wish you had a little gem Does on your eyebrow. Do they have fake ones? No, I used to like, I used to like put gems on there though. So, really? Yeah. I could have done that. I missed that detail because I was looking at everything and I usually try to look. You missed the detail? Really? Yeah. Oh my God. I kind of love it. Maybe I'll get an actual one. I was wondering. No, you won't. Yeah. Oh, I love piercings. I you'd, get a, your, you'd get your eyebrow pierced? Uh, yeah. Can I, I come with I you? Yeah. Is it hurt? No. I've had. Everything pierced. Me and too. Down the, I had everything pierced. I have pierced. not down there, but. Yeah. 
Okay, but you, those you ripped out, you said. Yeah. Or got ripped out when yeah. you were working. Oh my Painful. God, you really deep dived me. Mm, I was like, and I was like, it's such a weird thing to ask in an interview. Like, you don't want to ask someone about it. But I was like, was that the most painful thing ever, getting it ripped off? It was more painful when it was infected and I had to get it taken out afterwards. Like, it so, didn't like, it just like ripped a little bit. The counter, you said the counter was high. Yeah, and the corner kind of just like dragged against it. Okay, so then it, it, it didn't, didn't rip actually out. take no. it out. No. They just got really infected. Oof. I kind of live for them. I took all my piercing out when I got pregnant the first time, yeah. but I, I loved them. I thought they were like so cool. Yeah. And then cool. especially like when they're like places people can't see, be like, oh, wow, Ooh, wow pierced. This? I remember with a guy that's pierced down there. What do they call him? Prince Albert's? No, not down no. there. No. God, it was such a big thing when I was like 18. I really- It was a thing back then. No one does yeah. it. No one gets their pierced anymore. Yeah. They said it feels good. People say it feels good. Bring like back wiener piercings. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> If you have it consensually, if you want, yeah, if you want. <laughs> no, they are kind of everything. They're kind of cool. And I remember we would see someone you're like, "Wow, that's pretty. That's hot. That's kinky." I'd be like, "Whoa!" <laughs> if someone took their pants down and they had a piercing down there, I'd be like, "You're cool." Yeah, that's what Your I vibe. Right when I had mine down there, people thought that because I was like very not that, and then they're like, and then I kind of felt wow. Badass. You're I was like, badass. Wow. <laughs> oh my god! I always thought that was like so fun, but I would get the eyebrow. I probably wouldn't keep it, but I definitely would wear it for like a good like year. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll take mine out one day. You don't have your tongue. I used to have under my tongue, the web pierced. <gasps> Why? I was in high school. I was crazy. Again, I was like a, my parents, I was a problem. Really? But they were like trusting you. They're like, oh, you can do whatever in a sense. You let you have like boys over and stuff. <sighs> yeah. But like I was like getting my like everything pierced like at like underage. What was it for you? You like the aesthetic or the feeling? I like the aesthetic. Or? I like the like rush of like being a bad girl. Like just wanted to be like rebel. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Rebelling against like the parents that love you. Yeah. <laughs> they like, love me. That's a great family Yeah. No, I don't know what's wrong with me, but. And so, okay, interesting. Would you consider yourself more bad girl vibes or good vibes? Good girl vibes. I think I'm a good person, but I feel like I do give off bad girl vibes versus good girl vibes. Bad girl vibes in like the sexy way though. Like in the oh, like. Oh, thank mm, you. Yeah. Mm. Not in the like, mm. I'm awful. I'm a bitch. Just no, the more like, I'm, bitch. I'm flirty and. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I think it's a good vibe. I always wanted to be bad girl vibes, but I just never was. I never was anything. I wasn't preppy. I was anything. I just You're was, trash. And that's who you are. Thanks. And people love you for it. Thanks. I wish I could have been bad girl. If I looked like you, I probably would have been more bad girl vibes. I think if I, and I talk about this all the time, I think if like, even if I tried to look like super like girl next door, I feel like I couldn't. I feel like my features are too harsh. I would love to see that though. Just like the clean girl aesthetic. I have a video where I tried it. Oh, you do? Why didn't I see this either? I've seen like, so, I many. so many videos. Were you blonde? Were you like? No, I just like slicked my hair back. I would love to see like blonde, like Playboy Y2K, a Paris Hilton version of you, but actually like Paris. I'll do it. Like blonde hair. If I don't offer to like do the hair and makeup for me and like put me Ooh. in like a blonde, like really nice wig and like give me like a perfect pink Y2K do makeover, I'll do it. Oh my gosh. Because then with your pink car, I think that's amazing. I yeah. would do it. But I feel like I would still look harsh no matter what. No, but I don't think you look harsh at all. Your face, really? your, your face is so soft and like Thank feminine. You. It's just like the makeup is obviously and your piercing and stuff like that just makes it like I feel like edgy. even without it, I don't look. Soft, I never. I wouldn't you. know how to think. I because your eyes are like brats and dolls and Thank you. and no lip injections. You said no. people Wild. think I lie about it. It's not something I'd lie about. Wow. I would. I would say if I did it. You're so lucky. Thank oh you. my god. You can look like, like baby pictures of me. And you have the lips. Oh man. And the cheeks and everything. They're all just natural. You yeah. look so good. It's amazing. Thank you. Don't ever like do anything. Like I would never even do okay. Botox. Sometimes when I see people with no Botox, like my age, it actually looks so much better. You know, yeah. I think Botox, even my lip injections have stayed and like they don't go down. They well, just look, look nice right now. Well, they look a little like crazy. When I look back at old pictures, I'm like, oh, I really should have just kept those lips. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But the yours is like the perfect pout and everything like that. Yeah. And you would never get, you don't do anything like altering. You would never want anything. I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, I'll never say never, but yeah. I don't, as of right now, I don't want to alter anything. And the back of your hair is so cool. Yeah, it's shaved. I love it. I just saw this recently. That is so cool. What yeah. is it called? Undercut? Undercut. I just have so much freaking hair that like, wow. Yeah. You are so lucky. So Thank like you. if it grew out, you would just have like so much oh, more so hair. Much hair. Oh my God. So you do it for the thinning yeah, purposes. Yeah, I think it looks cool. I used to put like designs in it. Oh my God. I don't God. do that anymore. Do you wear hair up ever? It, uh, sometimes. Oh my God. I had it up like yesterday. I feel like that, to me, that's like having a piercing somewhere a secret. It's like, ooh, yeah, look at that. Oh, surprise. <laughs> the guy's yeah. like, ooh, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> kind of everything. You really are like everyone's type and everyone's favorite. Oh, stop. Thank you so much. Did you ever learn piano? <laughs> your, nope. One never of your goals in the first video is that. Never learned it. Gave you up. Pretty quit. good. You had a, you could do a little song on dun, the. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, dun, dun. That's, I don't dun, even think I could do it now. Dun, 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 That's dun, dun, so dun, weird. <laughs> what a weird thing to bring up. I, like, I, to me, that doesn't even, it's not even me. Really? I forgot I wanted to do that. Oh, I was like, that oh. That made me kind of sad. I'm like, I did that. I was like looking, I was like, I wonder if she met any of these goals because you had your crush and you had your, you wanted to learn piano and I was like, oh, maybe she met some of these goals. No. 
you're busy doing other things. Yeah. Are you still friends with the girl that was in your first video? Brianna? Yeah. Of course. I'm her baby's godmother. Oh, that yeah. Brianna. What does that mean to be a godmother? Um, just if anyone kicks the bucket, I'm there. No. So you have to take over the kid? Yeah. If like the baby? family doesn't want to do it. Yeah. It's mine. And you would. Yeah, of course. Okay. So you're not like actively thinking of having your own kids, but you're committed enough to be a godmother of that course, just, yeah. I would take over. Of course. Or if they needed her. help or of something. Course. Yeah. Oh my God. That's so cute. I feel like you'd be a good, a very good um, godmother. Thank you. Because you would just be the one to like, did you go in the pink car to the mall with her? Does she like love it? Was she like, oh, it's like a Barbie car? She, yeah. She does say she wants to come in the pink car all the time, but I think we took a different car because her car seat was in her mom's car. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I was like, oh, that's so cute. Um, and your hoarding video, are you, are you an actual hoarder or you think you just buy too many clothes? I'm a little bit of a hoarder when it comes to like clothes. And why is that? Because I am too. I just get attached to the memory of it all. I see. Yeah. I would buy clothes and never even wear them because I thought one day, what if I'm poor and I can't afford clothes? At least I'll have all these clothes that I bought. And I think that might be my train of thought. Really? Because I used to like not be able to afford it. Right. So now I'm like, oh my God, I have all these clothes. Like, like I can't. I try to donate like every few months. Yeah. But I still, it's just too much. Should do Poshmark. Yeah. Or have someone do I it just, for I you. just donate it. Yeah, it's kind of easy. I used to throw out my clothes in the trash like literally, and I had so much. I had ten storage units full of clothes, and then my mom, she does Poshmark for me full time because I have so many clothes that I've just never worn. For literally, she's been doing it full time for five years for me. Wow, and there's just not enough. It's a whole clothes. job. Yeah, I could open up ten stores with all the clothes because it's crazy. And I You're saw so your video, funny. and I was like, I wonder if she's it. an actual hoarder. A little bit. This it's got to be a little bit of a problem. Yeah. When I move, I'm gonna do a whole cleaning thing. And do you wear all the outfits? I try to. Okay. So you're always wearing something different every day. You're not wearing the same thing. Uh, I usually sometimes – I pick a few favorites for sure. Yeah. And just like re-wear. Because every time I see you, you're always in something different, different style, different whatever. Thanks. I love it. So because – so hoarding, you're not going to be like on hoarders. You're just like – Yeah. And it's just the shopping. Yeah. It's nothing else. No addiction to it. You don't think? You don't have a shopping addiction? Spending money addiction? I do a little bit. (laughs) It's so hard to outgrow. I think I just maybe finally outgrew it last year. Maybe. Maybe. And it's only because, like, I have a child and I'm just like, okay, let me not be a I'm a little better recently, but to not spend money. Yeah. What is your biggest splurge? Clothes, shoes, and bags. Oh, man. Do you do designer or do you do, like, just – I switch off. Yeah. Yeah. I love designer bags. Purses are my favorite. And me I too. never wear them. I never go out with me them. Too. But they're so me cute. Too. And just, like, oh, they're just adorable. And the clothes, where do you shop? Um, And this is Juicy Couture. I don't know. I, I try to thrift. I try to like do like online like oh. secondhand stuff as much as I can because I you know don't want to like overspend yeah. on like stuff that's like manufactured so much. But um, it just depends. I think like my, some of my favorite stores are like honestly it's basic, but like Urban Outfitters. Even I do. Oh, I love Urban Outfitters. That's yeah. all. That's always been really cool. Free people, Urban Outfitters. <gasps> free people. You love free people. That's I so do. crazy because they have different things like online. Yeah. They have like a lot of like. Yeah. I love free people because it's just so big. That's why I'm so, I'm so I can wear an XL and it's like huge on me. Yeah. You know what they I mean? also have like extra smalls and extra extra smalls, which is like sometimes a problem for me. Right. Because I was like, they're already kind of oversized. So I'm just like, if you yeah. have a thing. So you're on this new, now you're new, the new things we can't talk about. You're kind of like modeling in a sense. Can we say that? Okay. Okay. If we want to add it again, but like you're kind of like modeling now. Is this so surreal for you? Because you are 4'11. Yeah. Like, like it was like my dream for a second. A yeah. model and like getting asked to do these big projects and stuff. Like, is it like, what do you, how do you make of it all? Are you like, I don't. I'm in this – I'm just like – I just sit here and I'm just like, cool. Thank yeah. you so much. Like, but have you done anything like it before? No, never. So where are you ah, – Ask you just, me in a week. Yeah. Call me. Are you just going to go – I will. I will call you and be like, how did it go? How are you get the confidence to do it? Because obviously you're gorgeous and everything likes you, but you've never done something like it. So how are you in front I of just, a camera? I mean, I'm good in front of a camera because it's my job. You just like turn it on. Like, how do you do it? I don't know. I think – I'm going to tell myself they wanted me to be here, so I'm going to be here. Definitely. When they call they you. Me. Right. You don't have to audition. So I'm going to do it. Yeah. I yeah. don't have to audition. Yeah. They asked me, so I think I'll be okay. What's your like moves when you go to – because I do the same pictures every time I do any sort of like oh, photos. this side of my face. I'm mortified Literally. that it's this side of my face right now. Everyone says that. I'm like, maybe you need to switch sides with people. I don't really care this about is, a side. I, I always go like this. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, you could have told me. We could have switched sides even to take pictures. I would never ask you to do that. Really? I would. I wouldn't care. Oh my really? gosh. Like, that's time. so interesting. Okay, so this is your I like the side of my face better. And then how do you, what's your go to face? I just go. Okay. Do you ever do like like I do like a sexy Okay. Oh. Yeah, like a let me see. Yeah. <laughs> you do the mouth open. Yeah, like Okay. Is that going to be your move? I don't know. <laughs> when you model? Ask me in a week. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I can't even think about it right now. Models do some crazy stuff. I see people like with their hands up and then they're just like this. And yeah, I'm like, I don't have that much like energy to be like. I feel like you will. 
I can't wait. You think oh, so? Oh, that was so good. That's giving just... Vanessa Hutchins like Candy's campaign or <gasps> you remember? Oh my god, <laughs> she was so. Oh it. my god. No, you're gonna be so good. I'm so excited Thank you. to I'm see so all of it. Oh my gosh. So even though you don't love the question, like where do you see yourself? Where do you see it going? Like ultimate dream, the reality show. Yeah. But where do you see like this year? Where you're just like, hopefully, I just keep grow a little time. bit more and make more people laugh and give more people an outlet to just have a good time on YouTube. I love being a YouTuber. That's like your, you don't think there could be a a bigger dream for you as then. I I like it too. Reality TV, I'd love to do, but like YouTube, I don't think I'll ever stop. Never. Even for fun, I'll do, I'll upload Mondays. So it's your weekly schedule, you stick to Mondays. Yep, yummy Mondays. You need a trademark. You need like a yummy, um, like clothing line or like a yummy, like yeah. Jessica Simpson had one called dessert and it was like edible lip glosses and stuff oh, like fine. that. You could do like a yummy, like cosmetic line or clothes. I love it to YouTube too. No matter how, if no one's watching me, it's just so much fun. Like I love it. Yeah. I can never stop posting. Cause yeah. it's like, what do you I love do? It. Cause I know you like Jenna Mar. You said you like Jenna Marbles and I'm just, I was like, where did she go? I know she probably like wanted a break, but I'm like, doesn't she, she like miss it? I she know, so she good. loved posting. Yeah. So it's like, I wonder what she does every Wednesday. she comes back one day. She would be. She's like, she is the queen. She is definitely the queen of YouTube. And I feel like if she came back, everyone would be so excited. Yeah. It's like sometimes we just get the ones that stick around forever. I like me. Or but we just no, miss the ones. Like I'm the old stuck around. Mm, well, thank you. I feel like I feel like people would sacrifice me for Jenna Marbles if that was the case. <laughs> if, if we had to choose, we'd, yeah, we'd, yeah, tra- yeah. we'd trade you in for Jenna. Yeah. Which is fine. I would do it. And sacrifice myself in the sense of like taking myself off the internet, not necessarily like sacrificing right, myself right, right, for right, her. Right. Although maybe I could. Very Jennifer's body. Love you know that what movie. I mean? You also give me One that of my vibe. Favorites. You're also the Megan Fox vibe. You're the everything vibe. Stop. I feel like this is such a nice. body because she's so like moody and just like yeah. that's very like mm. you. Thank just you. Just not really. Well, I think that's great. I think everything you're doing is amazing. I can't wait to see everything you. you're doing. I can't wait for I these can't wait to text you. Huh? I can't wait to text you about oh everything. Oh my God, me too. I mean, please I'll do. You in. I actually do. Like I do love texting. That's what I love. And just like feeling like a part of something yeah, and like anytime. whatever. I'll, I'll keep you updated on oh everything. Oh my God, I'm so excited. things we can't talk about yet. Yeah. Are you going to take anyone with you to the things we can't talk about? Uh, my manager is going to come with me. You know, you want to take your mom or anything? No, I don't think she'd care to come. Really? Yeah, she's like, I'm at home with sugar. Okay. Yeah. I love taking my mom everywhere. I'm like, can you come to like a photo shoot with me? I don't know. It just always feels like fun to have yeah. her there. But okay, that'd be so much fun. Well, yeah. like, please come back when you do that. I'd love to. Oh my gosh. And when you have your podcast with Jake and Johnny and all the Persian food mukbang. We have yeah, a lot we have to actually lot to do. do. We have yes. a lot to get done. I'm ready we for all of it. <laughs> And thank you for coming on more than thank anything. Thank you like, for truly, having me. You're such a gem. You're such a light. Thank and you. This was so fun. And you really do have the gift of gab and like never lose thank that. You. And never lose your sweetness. I'll never and shut the f- up. Yeah. You can never silence me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Tara Yummy, everybody. What thank a great you. outro. Bye. We'll see you guys next one.